Yeah, knock it off. Okay. Yeah, you too. Starting with this 13 year old student who went to school drunk and even when caught would continue to lie about it. Yeah, it's right there. It's not in here. We just no, saw it's it. right there. It's not right here. Where? I can see the bulge. What bulge? The nurse is going to check him out real quick. I do have to read your rights, okay? Because I am going to charge you with a uh, minor allowing herself to be served with alcohol, okay? The test came back like I had it? Yes. Mm -hmm. So you do have a right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. Do you understand what I just told you? Yeah. Do you want to tell me or not? Mm -hmm. I am going to charge regardless whether you give the bottle up I or not. Somebody with keys well, the nurse will probably wife, please, be able so to take it. Could get her belongings. But I can't, okay? And I'm not. But based mm -hmm. on what the nurse said, you, you know that test she gave you? I'm gonna use that to charge you, okay? Oh, why? Because you're under the influence. Oh, I didn't drink alcohol. It's in your pants, and then it's cool. so, you guys. And I have witnesses. So you're already gonna be charged, so can I have it or not? And you told us where it's at. We know that it's in your pants. No, it's not. Okay. I just saw it. We saw it. Miss John and I saw it. I saw the body. What do you see? It's there. Mom, um, the, they have me in the office or some shit. They're trying to say I drink liquor or some shit. Yeah. During the encounter, the minor would make repeated claims of innocence, despite school staff literally seeing the bottle of alcohol on her. So she'd make attempts to have her mom take her side and be her alibi, and we'll see more of her pretty soon. But the minor will continue mouthing off, which will not end very well for her. You know what? I can put you in cuffs and beat you no, and put you under no arrest. Cuss. Okay. Okay, okay then knock it off with the language. You. Okay. Diane, give Miss your phone or put it no, back on Phone. Yeah, knock it off. Okay. Yeah, you too. Oh, hell no. Oh, my God. Yes, you did. Oh. I didn't punk it. Yes, you did. Uh, well, I want to know the tank. Move your hair, punk. Hold on. Let me cuff it first. Wow, wow. You're under arrest. Wow. Okay, move. Wait, let me cuff the other one. Oh, you can't cuff the other one? I have to. Fuck that shit. Because you're detained now. Okay, move now. No, not yet. Oh, I'm gonna... Oh. Hold on. Let me have the other one. No. Move! I can't the other box! Oh! Move! While WrestleMania in the middle of the office was taking place, the minor's mother would now storm in and insist that her daughter's innocent. The mother pulls the classic, I'm gonna sue you, as if that'll get her daughter out of trouble or something. But anyway, let's peek back into the office and spoiler, she's still actively resisting. Take Where's the bottle? She has a bottle. Oh, they let you lose me? Oh, no, I no, no, she. Oh, you opened it too much. You like? Okay, whatever. Just stop. Okay, no, there you go. Right. Okay. See you right there, okay? Tell so, okay, to your mom. If they tell me to release you, I'll do the class recitation and I'll release you to your mom. So just chill out. After officers finally secured the minor, school staff would relay what happened to the officer while he was in the foyer speaking to Miss I'm gonna sue. She was standing threatening me. Okay. She, was she hit your arms or? She didn't touch me, Officer Garfield. I'm not lying. Yes, you were. So you were trying, you're trying to take my phone. You're trying to take my phone. No, you're trying to grab my phone, and I started, I started, I moved my phone like this. 
That's why you hold it away from me. Yeah. yeah. So that's what's in your finger because you want to have such a yeah. grip on it, okay? Yeah. After she tried to point the finger towards everyone but her, her mother would somewhat calm down. So the officer would head down to have a more rational conversation with her. Hi, Mom. Oh, yes. Yes, how is it we can try to help you? Um, I don't know what happened. Okay. Uh, well, your daughter was here on the school grounds. She's in possession of alcohol. Okay, yep. She had a little bottle of vodka, 99% proof, whatever it is she was drinking. She seems intoxicated. She started getting combative with the staff because they were trying to take the bottle away. And they were trying to, yep. So she had it tucked in her pants and they wanted to retrieve it. The bottle that she had, she was, she was drinking out of it. So she can't be in possession, obviously, of alcohol. When she was here, when she called me in this area, she was, Mom, come pick me up. Yeah. And, and then, what happened? They drove her over there and they jumped They didn't drive her over there. She got escorted over there. And then she, she had a phone. Her. The principal says, give me the phone. I don't need to be uh -huh. texting your friends. I need to be to school again. Yeah. A little less. I'm, so while the principal had the phone, she lunged at the principal to snatch the phone and hit the principal's hand. And the principal goes, I'm not going to fight with you. I'm not going to fight over her phone. But she, she gave her the phone back. At that point, she got up. And she'd be really disordered. Really she? cool. She's really argumentative, cussing at everybody. And she squared off to the principals. She stood up and was coming at the principal again. So the, she didn't get hit or anything because of what she was doing. The officer grabbed her by her side. Oh, uh, so it's more Okay, you, you're more than welcome. I'm happening now, like, because I, I gotta go already. Um, I, like I said, like, I, I know, I mean, my daughter has never given me any problems. And like I said, she was right. here as a parent, I was your kid. Might and they say, Dad, come pick me up. I'm waiting for you here. And she says, Why want my daughter to be? And I got here and nobody will tell me. It anything. might be the alcohol. I don't know. I don't know. Is that okay for me though? Huh? Why? Is that okay for the parent to be hysterical and nobody says nothing about their daughter? Because your daughter hasn't calmed down till now. Your daughter again went for the alcohol bottle again on the table. She doesn't drink. I don't know what. But she had it on her. She doesn't seem like that. You can, I, don't you, know. I know. You can tell me. I don't know if she got it from another student. The fact that she mm -hmm. had it. You know what I mean? Uh, so even right now, now yeah. she slipped out of the cuffs yeah, and charged again. She has been charged with three different things. I'm going to fight that. And I want full footage for everything that took place today. That's fine. So okay. can, uh, am I not going to take my daughter right now? She's going to, as soon as they finish the paperwork. Uh, can, you, can you just, because uh, my daughter gets hot, you say, um, girl, hard to like contain. If she's being hot with you, she's she being even worse with us. That, yeah, but I know, but, but I, I'm here to like, pick her up. I'm, like, I'm her I mean, friend. told him. Not, and, like, I said, can we do the paper, finish the paperwork okay once we're done with our paperwork we're going to turn it over to you but why does she have to be in there while everybody's in there staggering her, because know? we'll contact the juvenile probation officer seeing if they were willing to detain her and take her to the jail detain her why she because battering on school personnel is a uh, felony it's a felony yes uh, as soon as you make contact with a rude incident or angry manner to another individual uh, at the school staff even if i just slapped your hand it's a felony really? yes to her benefit, she had a rational conversation, and despite not fully agreeing, it was made mutual that her daughter would be going to juvie. While the mother understood her daughter was in trouble, the minor would persist on verbally abusing everybody. Well, how much parts are going to be? Because like, I could see a lot of documents. There's three like, charges. Down. There's three charges. What kind of charges? Okay, you're looking at battering of school personnel, you're looking at resisting, and uh, the alcohol. The one with the teacher, the school personnel, that's a felony. Oh, that's stupid. That's but nothing happened with the teacher. It doesn't have to happen. You don't have to injure somebody. It just has to be documented. As long as you how touch that person. I didn't even touch that person. She touched my phone. I touched okay. my phone. When the f are you guys going to take these off? Are you guys retarded? So you guys have to keep them on the whole Time, they're they're, look how loose they are. You act like they're no, tight. No, bro, they're tight at first and they're still on here and it's still affecting. Listen. Are you retarded or what? Now they're still gossiping? There's other stuff going on besides you. Uh, oh, really? You think I give a I'm not talking about Okay, shut up. This is what she has. Just when we thought the encounter was over, a private conversation between the mother and daughter happened, and as a result, the mom calls the police department, and for what you ask? Alleging that the officer battered her daughter. This is that phone call. This officer Bravo, he threw my daughter on the ground, and my daughter's a minor. Okay. I think that's a battery to me. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. so obviously um there has to be reason that any kind of officer uses force and what about a camera should he have yep is he supposed to have a camera on at all times yes with minors? yes correct 
Yes, most okay. definitely. I thought it was only 13. The officer threw me on the ground. I think my head and shit my knees. And then he mm -hmm. continued to put his knee on my hair. And then he started getting me in handcuffs or trying to. Okay. And then he had me like down face first. And then afterwards, all the three security guards started attacking me. Okay. The minor was charged with felony counts of a battery on a school personnel, resisting arrest, and minor in possession of alcohol. Bro, don't I'm touch me. Right I gotta get my shit. This is Deja Holly, an ex Walmart cashier that was caught stealing $500 from the cash register. But when cops approached her, she'd act oblivious to her crimes. All right, Deja. So uh, they got you on camera basically taking money from the register, putting it in your pocket. Money? Where? Yeah. They got you on camera. Would you be able to empty out your pockets? My money. Okay, can you take that off? Yeah, I'm going to see it really quick. Can you, you stand? Anything else in your pockets? No, sir. Okay. Okay. okay, I'm going to have you guys place stuff, your though. items right there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have you turn and face the wall right here. I'm going to pat you down. Two thirty-five. She took one at uh, nine forty-five this morning. All right, all right, all right. This is from the prior days. Okay. I did pretty good. I have my own money. Okay. Well, I mean, it's on camera. Can I see for myself? Here's all the pictures. I'm going to show you the pictures just to show oh, like, there, There's a camera like literally right above I know, you. I know. When Deja was confronted with the theft, cops would now show her pictures of her stealing from the register. And as a surprise to nobody, would pretend that she was only looking for something conveniently inside the register. So here's the times that I guess you were taking it uh, the other days, right? The other days? Okay. I can't see nothing. I see me putting, taking money out. Is that all I was looking, looking for something? So you're going to listen to what this gentleman's going to tell uh, you right okay. now, okay? So right now you're to, at work. What I'm going to uh -huh. need you to do is uh, write a statement about why you have this money and explain to us what has happened on these previous days. Uh, how, how can I know it? what happened okay. if well, I'm, it looked like I'm taking it, money out of the drawer? I'm just letting you know. It's on the video, okay? So I need you to write a statement about what has happened. Yeah. Happening. yeah. But this money that we missing from the register that you want to know. Like, what do I, I'm confused. Right. Right. I hear him. Okay. I hear him. Okay. Like, y'all gonna make me mad. I'm being calm right now because I'm trying to see what's okay. going we're, on. We're being calm too. We're just explaining what you need to do. I'm just letting you know. This, this is all documentation of all I'm this money. To see this is all documentation of money that's been taken from the register that you worked on. Okay. These are still photos, yes, and we do have videos of it. Okay. Oh, so, we're not just, just because these still photos are showing what. Where your hands are at, mm -hmm. this is not changing anything from the video. I didn't take so anything. So though. I'm just letting you know. We already have it documented, a video and everything of you getting the money. Okay? okay? This, this is, is all mine? Yep, all this is mine. Okay, man, Write listen. The statement. We're gonna this is keep my stuff, stuff out. though. What's okay, right mean? now you're in custody, okay? So I need you to get your hard. stuff out. Alright, just write the statement. That's fine. Like, this is my stuff I bought with my money. Why okay, can't I put so then write that on the statement. I will. Okay, you don't need yelling at me. I'm wrong as hell. Don't don't talk to me. I am not talking to you. I'm talking okay. to y'all. Right now you're still at work, so you're gonna do what that. work's gonna ask you to do. I am. Right there. I am. But so let them, my people, the people that I'm working for, let them talk to me, please. Y'all okay, well, don't have to. Call this so now we're here. So now you're gonna write that statement. This is really what happens. It's already, been, it's already documented. It's already in the well, video. I, I want to okay, see so. what happened. That's why I'm telling you what happened. You're not going to see what happened. I'm not talking happen. to y'all. Please. Listen, I'm talking listen. to you. But you're I'm not, not gonna, talking to you. You're not going to see it. And I'm telling you what's happened. Okay. Okay. But well, like, what's the matter? I've seen taking money from the registers and putting it in your vest pocket. So that's what y'all have seen. Okay. And that's what I didn't do. Okay. Well, it's on video. Okay. I want to see the video. Well, I'm telling you. I'm telling you what's on the video. Okay. It's okay. okay. I don't want to write no statement. Well, then put it under if you want to write no statement, and you can put next. I don't want to write no statement. Well, then you're gonna you're gonna initial it. Okay. Right. Right. Y'all go. Right. Y'all go. Right. No statement and initial it. Right. No statement and then initial it. Okay. So this way I can't put anything in my pocket. Okay. 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 Okay.
seeing that I took something up child's door. What I'm saying, you know, it's on video. Okay, you know. I don't come here just to look at videos. So what y'all finna do? Arrest you. Arrest me? Yeah, so you're gonna do what they told you to do is take, get back on Why is y'all arresting me? Because you're under arrest for stealing. I didn't steal anything. Okay, just take off your vest so then we can get out of here. Okay, can I go home? I didn't steal yeah, shit. Yeah. Like, I'm not even from out here. Can you work hard? Bro, don't touch me. I gotta get my shit. I gotta get my stuff. Bro, I'm not in the front. I don't know. I'm not in the front. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not in the front. Okay, okay. You just broke my okay, okay. I'm not turning around. Oh, God. Get on the ground. Get, give me your hands. Put your hands behind your back or I'm going to tease you. No. You're hurting me. sue y'all Karen special. Deja would make claims of innocence despite literally causing this entire circus not once but twice. But her pinning the blame on the cops will only continue as we move forward. No. Oh, like y'all did this bro. Y'all did Stop. this. Stop. Hey, Stop. Hey, Stop. You doing this shit bitch. Stop. You white ass bitch. Okay, Roger, this bitch barely broke my fucking nail. Yes. 32, son of 52, too. She's bleeding. You did it! Why that? No, I did it! Yes, you did. No, I promise I did it! Okay. I am in burn, man. I'm like, I'm not doing it. Y'all already got me in the handcuffs. Where can I go? You're getting an ambulance to get checked out. Just calm down. What? Like, that don't even make sense. Y'all hurt me and then put me in an ambulance. What? Can I sit down, please? Are you going to be calm? Yes. At this point, a sergeant would arrive and Deja would claim innocence. But when questioned if she complied, she'd attempt to reenact what happened to pin the officers as the assailants. I'm not fighting. I was never even fighting them. I asked them nicely, can I get my things? And they, he right here, he broke my nail and some more shit. And you put your hands behind your back when he told you to? I, no. okay. I was right here. When I was right here, I got up. And that's why he did all this and everything. I'm not gonna have to lie about that. Okay, step out. I told you to open up, come here. And I, I need to talk to you. To, open up this window. New Mexico State deputies stopped a woman that was traveling 94 miles per hour in a 65 mile per hour zone. When the officer initiated a traffic stop, he never could have predicted how insufferable this stop would be. This could be a Hyundai Sonata. Unknown passengers, driver's side is covered with a blanket. Can't see the subject. Let me see your hands, bro. Why, why are your windows covered like that? Step out of the vehicle, man. Come out here with me. Driver, let me see your hands. Four through seven, just to advise them, giving verbal commands on my PA. Driver's not, not listening. Driver, let me see your hands. Four through seven, still giving verbal commands, not getting answers. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. You need to come out. I can't hear you. I can, I can hear you. Okay, go ahead and open, your, you open the door with your left hand and your left hand only. All right, you're gonna be arrested, man. I'm telling you. Four through seven, so calm. It appears to be a female uh, stuck out her left hand. She's uh, she's flipping me off at this time, and she's just yelling. I can't hear her. You need to come out to me to the sound of my voice. Open up that door, and you need to come to the sound of my voice, man. Force will be used. Thank you. Go ahead and step out. 
Step out of the vehicle right now. You're going to be under arrest. Step out of the vehicle right now. During the encounter, the driver would remain uncooperative with the officer's commands and even started flipping off the officer. As the officer can't see the vehicle's occupants due to a blanket covering the windows, he'd remain hesitant on approaching the car. So he'd call for a backup officer to assist the stop. Listen to my commands, ma'am. Step out right now. Step out right now. I can't see inside your vehicle. Go ahead and step out. Good. I'm going to make contact on this side. Let me see your hands right now. Let me see your hands. Step out. Okay, step out. Step out. Go ahead and step out. Step out. Who else is in the vehicle? Bring down the windows. Step out. Step out of the vehicle. Step out of the vehicle. Stop. Who else is in here? My daughter. And You're not listening, ma'am. I'm telling listening. you. I told you to open up. Come here. And I, I need to talk to you. To. Open and up I this don't window. Have to. No, come here. And I she, don't have just chase a daughter. Hold on, bro. Just come out. Come here, man. Stop. Just stop resisting. Stop yeah, resisting. Hold on, baby. I'll be right with you. No, Let me know. Ma'am, I'm giving you commands, okay? And Stand by right now. I'm gonna talk to your daughter. Too. You do. Oh, you're you're going 94. You're going 94 on a 60 on a 65. Are you intoxicated right now? Hey. What's wrong with you? Why aren't you cooperating? What's wrong with you? She's intoxicated. Is this really, is this really worth it? Is this really worth it? Let go of my handcuffs. Ma'am. What do you think this is, ma'am? What's wrong with you? You have a small daughter in the vehicle. What's wrong with you? You guys are done. Okay, what's wrong with you? Don't resist, ma'am. Stop. Don't resist. Stop. Just stop resisting, ma'am. This isn't worth it, all right? You're getting more charges at it, right? All right. I'm gonna stand over here. Once initiating contact, officers note both her erratic behavior and dilated pupils, which are telltale signs of intoxication. She'd exclaim the cops are scaring her daughter. When had the woman complied, her daughter wouldn't be crying. But to further crown herself mom of the year, she'd continue to escalate the encounter. Can't believe you think this is funny, ma'am. You have your daughter there, man. I can't believe you think this is funny. This isn't funny. Unlock the roof. It's not you run, out, you run out of your place under arrest, okay, for resisting. How, how much have you had to drink today? Huh? All right. Go ahead and come in here. No, you guys are so embarrassed. Okay. Stop. I don't have to go in there. Are you drunk? Do You're under arrest right now. No, I'm not drunk and I don't have to go in there. Get in there I right now. Says who? Here, I got, I got pepper spray, bro. I got pepper spray. Get in there right now. Pepper spray is you can fucking pepper spray yourself. Get in. This, this is your pepper spray. Get in right now. Okay. I'm gonna use a taser. Get in right now. Get in there right now. Get in there right now. Get in there right now. Sit down. Ma'am, get in the vehicle. Sit down right now. Sit down in there. No, get in there. Sit down in there. Get in the vehicle. Inside. Listen to my commands. Okay. Okay, get inside the vehicle. Put your feet in. Put your feet inside the vehicle. That is not. Not. Put her feet in there, bro. That is hey, relax, relax right now. Relax, okay? Due to her non-compliance, a taser had to be used to subdue her once and for all. But upon dealing with her, officers remembered her young daughter in the car. So they'd rush over to her to ensure that she's safe and unharmed. Are you okay? What's going on? Are you okay? Well, explain here in a bit. Just stay in there because there's traffic out here, okay? I'm gonna ask you something, okay? Would you want to provide a, uh, a breath test, breath example? No? I don't have to. What's happening? You, you wanna go to my patrol car? Are you yes, come on. How primitive the Come here, sweet. Let's go this way. Are we going to back to my house? We'll, we'll let you know here in a bit, okay? Okay. I'm just gonna put you in here because I have, I have AC in there, okay? That way it's not too hot. Go ahead and have a seat, Sue. In a shocking turn of events, this woman was actually right for once. You are totally free to refuse a breath test. However, it's important to note that refusal in many jurisdictions will give cops probable cause and you will likely be arrested for refusal to submit alongside a DWI charge. That said, if this woman's annoyed you, what she says next may just enrage you, especially for you parents out there. Hope your daughter dies. You hope my daughter dies? Yep, I do. Thank you. So just pay attention. I'm about to read I'm some stuff, okay? Gonna I'm just going to read you your rights. Hurry up. <clears throat> All right, so did I have to you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against in court. You have the right to consult with an attorney. My daughter's 
to have an attorney present during the questioning. My permission. If you guys can go check on the daughter, bro, please. Okay. Does he have it already? Okay, cool. All right. So if you cannot afford an attorney, one can be provided to you before questioning at no cost. Do you understand these rights? With these rights in mind, would you speak to me? You know, would you wish to speak to me now? The utter ignorance of this woman is truly baffling, but I'm sure we all feel the same way. But to make matters even worse, officers conduct a search of her vehicle, which uncovers some truly disturbing items, especially when you consider that her young daughter was riding with her. Alrighty. After unloading her completely unsecured firearm and as no surprise, an empty bottle of white cloth seltzers, she is hauled off to jail, where in keeping up acting like a child, would urinate in the backseat of the squad car. Step out. Why'd you put them in the front? Because Stand right there. Where'd you pee? Oh, all there and then all the way to the there. Put that on there. There you go. Go this way. Go this way. That's what I'm doing. Well, well no. You should feel really proud of yourself. This negligent Karen faces a mammoth of charges, including driving while intoxicated with a minor, abuse of a child, aggravated DWI, refusal to submit, negligent use of a deadly weapon, speeding over 20 miles per hour, concealing identity, and resisting, evading, or obstructing an officer. However, her sentence is not presently known. Go ahead. We told you to leave. You're still I'm coming. finna go. Oh, you're still here complaining. No, I'm finna, finna go. go. We went on my sister. Let's go. go. Get out of the I'm car. Finna go. Get out of the car. I'm finna go. Let's go. Officers with the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office responded to reports of a female stealing from a grocery store. But once they'd arrive, the suspect would immediately be uncooperative. I'm paying myself. I got three different transactions, and that's all I was doing. Three different transactions I'm paying for myself. Why the f that I got a I got a mother eight man to a bitch. Why I got to do that and I'm paying for my shit? What do you what do you mean amen? Him. Okay. I'm paying for myself. Three different transactions. I, bitch, I got money. Bitch, I ain't worried about that. But I'm just saying I'm paying for my stuff. That's all I'm doing. I got three different transactions, so I'm paying for my stuff, and that's all I was doing. All right. Where's the uh, while she claimed to have, quote, only been paying for her stuff, officers would now speak to management, who would recount a very different story. So she paid for it. The whole bug is already backed up. Nothing's paid for it. This is all that's paid from the bug. She's attempting to leave with the bug. So they told her she has to pay for everything. She's making a big scene out of it. So for the record, she only paid for one item. For it's not even paid. This is a suspended receipt. A suspended transaction? Yes. Yeah, she that, that she paid yes. She's trying to, so she's trying to scam. Yes. So yeah. I'm going to pay for different each transaction injury one by one. No, you don't. No. Know. So like I said, she's, making a, she's been making a big scene. That's trespassing. This is like the first time we had this today. Once officers learned of her elaborate scheme, they'd head back out to speak with her to where her belligerent attitude will only get worse. And they suspended my, my transaction and I'm paying for it. Okay. All right. What's your name? You got your ID? What's your name? Don't worry about my ID. I just want my shit. You know what? Okay. That's a tweet, basically. Okay. Listen. Listen. Don't worry That's about right. my ID. Don't worry about the mother thing. Okay. Listen. That's you, it. You, That's you, it. You, it. Because this shit don't make me mad. I understand. And I want to hit some motherfucking body right now. And I don't like that. No, I ain't gonna hit the police. Because y'all ain't gonna take me to jail. Y'all kiss my ass on everything. I know. She did a transaction. She didn't pay for her items. Right, and I'm paying. I'm speaking to him, so give me one second. Relax. Relax. She was gonna try to do one by one individual on the items. But you had the whole part full, ready to walk out. So, manager just wants to not prosecute, but wants to go ahead and press that. So that's just it. What is that? So for today, we're gonna grab your ID, engage your information. I'm still coming back to tomorrow. You're not, you're not, you're not, if you come back tomorrow, I'm and come back when it's tomorrow. Perfectly, that's fine. Hey, y'all not get my ID either. Okay, well now, you
you're gonna go to jail then for obstruction because okay. you're not giving me your ID. Nope, okay. In a clear attempt to provoke the officers, the woman intentionally takes as long as possible to locate her ID card. Growing impatient, officers now inform her of the consequences if she continues to play games. So you gonna take me to jail? You want to go home? I'm going. Then give me the ID. Stop playing games. Give me the ID. Or you Stop playing games. My hand. Stop playing games. Or you're going to get this as well. Let go my hand because I will get it to you. Okay. Get, get the ID. Well, let go my hand. Don't hold my motherfucking hand. Okay. Get the ID. Because I'm not playing. playing games. I'm not playing. ID, ID. now. Go. ID now. Or you're going to get a resistant. You're going to get a resistant charge. Go, go with the ID. Go with the ID. Go with the ID. Can you get the ID? Because I'm ready. Give me a minute. Well, hurry up. Let me go on my way. Hurry up. Get the ID. Can you give me a minute to find me? Just give me your name. It's a lot easier. Give no, me your name. I'm going to give you my ID. You're about to go to jail. I'm not I playing with you. Okay. Ahead. You are going to go to jail if you keep playing with me. Because my patience is running very thin. And my, my okay? So thin. give me your name, or you got two minutes to give me the ID. Give me a minute. Let me find you. You got about one minute left. Well, you got to wait a minute. What's your name? Thank you. How hard was that? You're not free to go. You're not free to go. Okay? That, I talk to you. You're I'm not free to him. go. I as soon as he's done with that, I'm then not you talking leave. to you. I'm, I'm talking to you. Him. I'm talking I'm to you. I'm talking to you. Why well, I don't want to talk to you? I'm talking to you. I don't want to talk you to you. You can't go nowhere just yet. I should go where the I want to go. Go ahead. Go ahead and you go straight to jail. Go ahead. I ain't going Walk. to jail. I got to go ahead. Walk. Go ahead. Man. Go ahead. Walk. Y'all want me to be scared? I ain't scared. I ain't to be clear, at this moment, this woman is free to leave with a simple trespass from the premises. But she will continue to cause a scene, which may be the biggest mistake of her life. Listen. Why the f listen. But you listen. got my ID. When that shit, let me go to the store. Let me get what I'm finna get and go home and go to Bravo and get me some more motherfucking. Despite seeming to leave, we'll now hear her continue causing a massive public outburst, which would be noticed by a citizen, and he'd share his thoughts on the situation with authorities. I'll get a statement from you, and then uh, she'll be trespassed, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. So, you got your idea what you meant? Oh my God. Sir, the store and everything, man. Oh, she need to be locked up. Yeah. Oh, well, trust me, she gives him that card. She's to steal over hundred something dollars worth of merchandise, man. Yeah, of Got in the guy's face and everything. And she's still going on. Yeah. You guys gonna allow that? Give me, give me a second. Give me a second. If I was to do that, I've been locked up. Listen, there's a First Amendment right, freedom of speech. Okay. 
Officers, now between a rock and a hard place, now finally come to a decision to take her to jail. So they march out to her getaway car to scoop her up, which won't be taken very lightly by the suspect. I think she's gonna go to jail. She's still on the property. Refusing to leave, still here on the property, causing a disturbance. Oh, come on, come on. We told you to leave. You're still I'm finna go. Oh, you're still here complaining. No, I'm finna go. We're waiting on my sister. Go. I'm finna go. Let's go. Let's go. No, we're I'm finna go. Out of the car. My sister went inside. No, my sister went in the stove. Out of the car. We're gonna pull you out of this car. Out of the car, or I'm gonna pull you out of the car. Let's go. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. I'm finna go. Let's go. Get out of the car. Come on. Get out of the car. Let's go. We're way past that. Let's go. No, we finna go. Hold on, Chantel. Hold on, Chantel. Hold on, Chantel. There's no, hold on. No, I need my phone. No. I'm finna okay, go. Now you're gonna get a charge for resisting. Let's go. You keep resisting and you're done. Let's go. No, let me get my wallet. I'm gonna get anything. Let me get my wallet. I got it. No, somebody get my wallet. No, you finna break me. You done broke my nails. I don't care about your nails or any of that. We told you to leave and you continue to leave. I'm finna go. My sister is fucking my sister. We're finna go. We told you to leave. Still on the property yelling and screaming. I'm finna go! Causing a big scene. Nope. You're no reason. My sister went in the car. Oh, she, we're, we're done. Sorry. No. Get my wallet. Get my purse. Let's go. Have a seat. Have a seat, please. I'm finna go! Have a seat. Have a seat or I'll sit you down. Have a seat. Have a seat because we're done playing games. Let's go. Sit I'm down. I'm finna go! Sit down. Or I'm, I'm gonna... finna go! Sit down. Sit down. And don't mind the f***ing move, bitch. Let's go. Sit down. Stand there. I hate those people. Let's go. Sit down. Thank you. Once finally in custody, we'd now see the suspect, like we'd expect, point all the blame on the cops. Can I have my shoe? Yeah, your shoe's in the front. That's what y'all bitches wanted the mother do. Take me to jail. Y'all been wanting the mother take me to jail with that old flower ass shit. That's what y'all bitches wanted to do. Give me my shoe. I'm not worried about your shoe. I want my mother shoe. I don't care what you want. I don't give a bitch. Give me my mother shoe. Fuck. Give me my shoe. That was our bitches wanting to do. Take me to mother jail. And fuck. And I don't have no mother watch. No nothing, bitch. I get the fuck out in the morning. Give me my mother shoe. So I get the fuck away from y'all. And I'm going to get out in the morning. In the morning, bitch. This suspect was charged with trespassing, failure to leave property by commands of the owner, and resisting arrest without violence. The woman pled guilty to these charges and was ordered to only pay court fees, but she failed to do this. As a result, her driver's license was suspended. Get on the ground now! Go ahead, come and get me! Watch her, watch her. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. I ain't do nothing. Ma'am, get on the ground right now. Get on the ground. Don't touch me. No. Deputies responded to calls. A man and a woman were yelling at each other. And that was just a taste of the craziness about to unfold. Do Do not. What is the matter with you? I have a stroke. I don't care. You don't bite. Whatever. Put your hand behind your back right now. Roll over. Me, bro. But you don't try to bite me. I am trying to bite you. You did. No, I didn't. You. I didn't try to. It's all on camera. Bro, that's it. I don't care. Bro, just get me away from him, bro. And that's it, bro. And that's it. Bro, turn around for me. Can you take me to jail, please? Yeah. Don't worry. We're getting there. Because he. Ma'am, do you need rescue? No, I can't move my left hand, but don't worry about it because I have no nerves, okay? Okay, that's what I'm asking. Just take you me to jail. And I don't want him nowhere near me, you understand? Yes, ma'am. Nowhere near okay. me, bro. Yeah, I swear to God. All right, can no, you stand up for me? I can. Ready? I got warrants in Monroe County. You do? Yeah. Okay. Yes, take me to jail. I got warrants in Monroe County. Can you fix my shirt, please? Yes, ma'am. Please fix my shirt. Stay the away from me. After $9,000 of debt, bro, I am happy, bro. In the midst of Courtney's screaming, she'd broadly explain the puzzling situation to authorities. However, the now ex-boyfriend, Earl, recounted a different story. So someone isn't being truthful here, and cops were determined to get to the bottom of it. I want assault charges against him. I had to get in the woods. Okay, ma'am, stop yelling right now. You just spit in my eye. It's not my problem. It is my if you have something, I'm going to be extremely upset. I don't have nothing, okay? 
I've, I, I, the man over there in the motorcycle right there will tell you that I was running from him for two hours. All right, can you stop yelling? No, I will not stop yelling. I've been trying to get away from this. Is like a f blessing, bro. You saw me running from him, right? That man right there will okay, tell you. Okay, that's regard. We're, we're done. You, you saw me, right? Yeah, you take it out while she was warning. That mother warning. I ain't touch her. You was there. I ain't touch now. I was texting her. It's Courtney, right? So is there any reason why you try to bite me in my hand? No. I you know, want to get. I was in the woods you know, trying to get away from him. You know, okay. You bit me, right? I barely touch you. Don't even start that. What is that? I barely touch you. What is that? I barely. Don't even start that, bro. Don't even start that. Please. Don't even start that, okay? I've been running for him for two hours. That man. And that I, listen, if it wasn't listen. for that man. No. You listen. If it wasn't for that man, I would be hey, fucking you dead. Just want to call No. No. I ain't told him to call the cop. All right. Stop. I was, no. Stop. No. All right. Come on. We're going in the car. Come on. I had a stroke on this side. Go ahead. I'll sue the county. I don't give a all right, but you try to bite me, so it's all not good. I try to bite you, you hit me. I did not hit you. Where's your camera? You, you sure right you didn't hit me? You yeah, sure? I'm positive. Yeah. Can you, like, I can't have this hand like this. I had, Come on, get in the car. I cannot. I, am, I had multiple strokes. Sit inside the car. I have rescue on the way. Sit in the car. I want to wait for Sit. them out here. You're spitting at me right now. I am not spitting at you. You are spitting on me right I now. I had a stroke. Sit in the car. No. Do you want to get tased? Go ahead, tase me. See Sit what in the car. Prison. You're still spitting my Face. Try me, dogs. Get inside the car. No. Get in the car. No. No. You're going to get taped. Go ahead, do it. You're still spinning. I will go to the hospital. No. I had multiple strokes in the hospital. Okay, time. that's Tase good. me, bitch. I Try am... me. Tase me. Tase me. Tase me. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get in the car. No. Get in the car. No. I had a stroke. Okay. Well, get in the car. Let go of my... She spit all... Over me, spit in my eye, bit me in my hand. What do we have with him so far? Nothing. He said he said he found out that she was wanted. And he was gonna call the cops, and she started running away. As officers haven't caught a moment's break once throughout this encounter, they still don't know what has happened. However, once securing Cordy, authorities will speak with the witness to gain more clarity on the case. I was sitting over there in the dumpster and peeing from my motorcycle. And she came by and she goes, "A man's chasing me. Don't tell him I'm going in the woods." And I'm like, "He sees you." So you never saw him do anything. I never saw him touch her. Okay. But she was running for her fucking life. Okay. And she asked me to call the cops. My phone was dead. So I went in the store and asked them to call. And I didn't see him touch. She ran through the woods all through there. He went that way. You know what I mean? But I never saw him touch her. Fuck. They were far away. You know what I mean? But yeah. she was running for her life. Trust me. With both the witness and officers having not witnessed a man commit any harm to Courtney, he'd be free from charges. But as the man is still fearful of facing charges for a crime he didn't commit, he then explained his side of the story to authorities. Yeah. Excuse me. Huh. Dog, this girl had warrants. I know, we were in the information right now. I was, right now. I was chasing uh, her. I know, look. Right, so we in the information right now. I did not touch right. her nothing. Okay. All right. And this seat. man was on a bike. Listen. She ran in the woods because the police was coming. She was running from the police. We, we were running the information right now. Yes. All right. And we're that's why. Everything. All right. She knew and now she's trying to say. All right. I did. I, I put my hands on her. I walked around here. She jumped out the woods because she knew that she was warning. Okay. Right. She didn't want the police called or nothing. And you okay. can see. All right. We're running, we're running it right now. We're making yes. sure, right? Once Earl calmly, but in a frantic tone, quite understandably, explained his side of the story, cops would return to Courtney, where she'd recount a very different set of events. How are you doing? Not what? good. What? He was following me. He was not me out. Okay? I tried to get away from him. Away from him. That's why I was in the woods trying to get away from him. He was following me. And you asked that man that was standing. I asked that man to call the police because he was following me. He punched me and McDonald's. I was trying to get away from him because that's all he does is beat me for no reason. I was getting away from him. I had a stroke in my left hand side. I can't have my arm like this. Okay. I had a stroke, okay? It's hurting me. Are you fine right now? No, I'm not. You you look fine to me. I don't. That's nice. That's nice. Did you have a stroke? Okay. Did you have a stroke? Courtney's demeanor throughout the entire interaction appears deceitful and disingenuous, and authorities recognized this, so they'd head back to Earl to release him without further incident. Alright, sir, step out the car. Yeah. 
No sec what happened. I ain't gonna lie to you. She ran in the woods, she knew she was listen, morning, listen, and she listen, tried to get sir. me caught up. I understand. And I listen, took, but I'm just straight up. I've been my whole when, life. When we get a call, people just running around, know, we don't know what we got. I know, because a man on a bike call. Understood. But she ran in the woods, she knew she was no. morning, she tried to say, oh, I did all she, this. She, she's going she for the war. She's telling her she had for once. She called me. I was walking down here, and I said, well, you got once, you doing all this. She told me, you. I'm not f you. Okay. Started with let's, me. Let's get the handcuffs off. The man off. was in the bike, and the man said, let her be. You, you, you call that. You call that. You want to be that? You want to be a jail? No, don't call Earl now. I love you, but you did this. You tried to put me in jail. You crazy. Courtney had warrants, and Earl knew it. When the cops arrived, she'd falsely claim that Earl abused her to prevent him from reporting her. Courtney's plan to get Earl arrested along with her failed, and she ended up facing the consequences alone, then denying any wrongdoing. Man, I'm gonna put you in that car, okay? I want you to be nice. I don't want you biting. I don't want you spitting at anybody. I didn't bite at anyone, spit at anybody. No, I don't want to hear that. Uh, I never did that. So don't even start that. I want to go to the hospital. I have, no, I had a stroke yeah. on this. I want to go to the hospital. Go, get in the car. I want medical attention. I want medical attention. Get in the car. Sit down. You're going to catch another charge if you break it. What is the problem? You're not going to try that on me, dog. I had a stroke and I have metal in my brain. Get me the You. What you? I don't want to hurt yourself with your rookie badge and your rookie uniform. Hold on, I'm gonna take it off, all right? Mm -hmm. All right, come on. Despite her best efforts, Courtney was arrested and charged with resisting arrest with violence, resisting arrest without violence, battery on a law enforcement officer, and criminal mischief. The latter charge was a result of Courtney intentionally breaking a $200 hobble restraint device. Her bail was set at $30,000. I need your name. What's your name? Man! What is your name? You're gonna get, you'll get more charges. Ah! On March 19th, 2022, officers responded to calls of a car that had ran off the roadway. When they proceeded to approach, the male and female occupants had swapped seats. However, this maneuver proved futile as she ultimately confessed to being the driver herself. Hello? Hey man, they're both here on seat. What's up guys? What's going on? Swerved out the fucking road. Huh? Swerved out the road. Who did? You were driving? Well, I'm gonna need you to come out of the vehicle and talk with me then. You don't have no pants on. Okay. Figure something out, man. I gotta find out what's going on. So you weren't driving? You were in the passenger seat, obviously. No. You see where so, I'm at? I see where you're at now, man. We good. What, we good. What? Yeah, you're not good. Don't worry about that, man. We're gonna talk with her. No, I'm saying, what is we, we, What are we is getting stopped for? You drove off the roadway. Yeah, but our tires. Okay. And we can't get towed out. Yeah, we'll help you get towed out. That's no problem, but we gotta find out what's going on first. Let's hang out back here with me. All right, so tell me what happened. Uh, I'm on fire. Do you need to rest on the vehicle? Rest. Do you need to rest on the vehicle? Okay. How much have you had a drink today? Not that much, but my shit, my car been fucking up like, I'm finna move back to my mom's house and stuff like that. I don't know, like, if it's just what's going on, but like, everything is just, just been coming to a, um, uh, like a crash, like everything is just gonna come to a crash. Okay. Immediately, this officer could tell this woman was not only drunk, but beyond hammered. Her sentences were incomprehensible and her speech was significantly slurred. Once noticing this, the officer began to understand the true cause of this crash. Which way were you coming? Huh? This way. This way. You're coming this way? This way. You're coming from there? Yeah. What do you mean when she talks? She has to talk to me. No, she doesn't. 
Yes, yeah, she does. Hey, you don't have to talk to him. Okay. All right, let's walk back here. Let's walk this way. We'll talk up by my car. Come on. What? Why are, you, why are you back here just staring at me, man? I'm trying to make sure she's cool. How would she not be cool? Is she crying? Yeah, because she knows she messed up. That's why. Talk with him. This is what we're going to do. We're going to walk back here, okay? We have to. We have to get out of this dirt and stuff. Do you need the fire department? Okay, what's going on? Is there something going on with him? Huh? You need to be honest with me, okay? I can tell you're intoxicated, I can smell it. Okay? Come on, let's walk up here. Let's get off this dirt, okay? Hold my hand. Seeing the woman visibly distressed by the weight of the situation, the officer gave her a moment to compose herself before letting her explain her side of the story. You saw her in the driver's seat? Her, when I went up, uh, the first thing she said to me was, where did he go? And I said, who? She said, the guy. I go, what guy? She goes, the one that was driving. I said, I only see you in the car. She goes, no, he took off running. We sat here for about uh, five minutes. I talked to her out of her key. Okay. She was trying to take off. She was in the driver's seat? Yeah, she was okay. trying to take off. And I told her, hey, something's wrong with the car. Let me see your key. She gives me the key. I took the key out the keychain, gave it back. About five minutes go by. I'm talking to a lady. I didn't want to Just stay by the vehicle. Okay. And he came back from over the neighborhood, then jumped in. What's your phone number? Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate it. Do you have a driver's license? Do you have a driver's license? You okay? So, I'm trying to find out what happened. Oh my God! My car went out. Okay. I understand your car went out. That's... I get that. Okay. So there's a mechanical malfunction on your vehicle. How fast were you driving? I was driving fast. It went out. I have... I barely have gas. Have you had anything else today other than alcohol? No. No? How much have you had to drink? I don't know. No, I don't want anything else. Say what? I don't want anything else. Nothing's necessarily going to happen to him, but we're trying to find out what's going on, right? My car ran out of gas. Okay, your car ran out of gas? The officer quickly catching on to the silliness of this woman's story from her malfunctioning tires to suddenly running out of gas. He frankly grew tired of it. So he placed her under arrest, but it was only then that her sense of entitlement reached new heights. Do you take any type of drugs, any type of prescription medication? I'm on, I'm on, uh, what do you want? We want to make sure you're safe to drive, so we want to put you through some tests. You're going to be okay to complete those tests? I'm sorry, rest. I can't hear you. I'm sorry, rest. You got to use the restroom? What's your name? You have to give me your name. I don't think it's going to be able to. No, it's just hook her up. Okay. okay. I had to pee. I'll go back. We'll, we'll let you pee back at the station. No, I have to pee. I'll take her right here, dude. That's all right. Oh, okay. no, yeah, don't worry about that. Myself in the car. The station's right I there. I want to pee. You're I not gonna. Pee you're not gonna pee right here. I don't want to pee on myself. We'll be there in. We'll be there in one minute. Minutes. One minute. It's right there. One you minute. Can see it from here, ma'am. Sit down, please. One minute. We'll be there. During her arrest, she'd claim the need to pee, all the while delaying being taken into custody, which was clearly her intent in the first place. Knowing her excuses won't fly any longer, she'd now simply act like she's above the law. I need your name. What's your name? Matt! What is your name? You're gonna get, you'll get more charges. Ah! Give name. I'll give you one more opportunity. You don't tell I me your name. If you don't give me your, if you don't tell me what your I name is. I fuck you Okay, well, he'll be there when they're done. And you think it's funny? What? You think it's funny? Do I think what's funny? You said he got the police station when we're done. Okay, I need I'll explain him. it one okay, more time. We're finna, okay, we're he finna can go. go. We're finna go to the police station. I need my boyfriend. Okay, well, right. it doesn't I work that my, way. It You're an adult. You're an adult, I'm, I'm so your boyfriend doesn't work. I'm Put not, your foot inside. I'm not. Put your foot Who's inside. Who's the policy right there? I want to speak to your manager. Damn. No, because at this point, no. I want to speak to your manager. Yeah, at this point, I joke. You know why? Because that's just a bunch of bullshit. Do not touch me because I got a camera rolling. 
Yeah, we both have cameras. We, we all have, have cameras on. Please put your phone. No, I don't want to get back to. Despite pulling the classic, let me speak to your manager, the cops wouldn't tolerate it. Quickly shoving the woman inside the car and slamming the door. But now her mother would arrive on scene, displaying not a care in the world for how her daughter was acting. So, Can I talk is this your daughter? Yes. Okay. So, Can I'll I put I will put the window down if you believe you can get her to calm down for me. You okay with that? Hey, your mom wants to talk to you. Mom! Mom! Yeah. Mom! 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 I mean, do I have to get a tow truck? To we can, we can help with all that. Okay. Oh my God, yeah. so. You're being wrong. You're wrong. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, I mean, you just drove. Now, if they whip your ass, ma'am, please stop. Ma'am, I'm going to that she can get charged if she gets yeah. or something. This ridiculously entitled woman was charged with aggravated DUI with a suspended license, along with DUI while driving the wrong way. Oh, now you're gonna spit on me? Okay, now you got. Now she's got a felony. Oh, you're gonna spit on me, huh? You're gonna spit Stop. on me, huh? Stop. 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 On November 22nd, 2022, deputies located a woman sitting in her car who appeared to be intoxicated. But when they try to speak with her, the encounter would turn sour immediately. What's going on? Hey, Noah. All right, the reason for the stop's improper backing, okay? You have your license, registration, proof of insurance? Oh my gosh. Don't pull out. Don't pull out. Don't pull that car out. Stop driving. Stop driving the car. Stop driving the car. Just stop. Do you have your license? Do you have your license? Possible signal one. Do you have your license? Yes. Can I have your license, please? Okay. That's what you want to see? Yes, I want your license. Okay. Okay, can you give me your license? Okay. Is is it okay? Ma'am, I'm not going to sit here and play games with you. Just get your license, okay? I'm not going to play games with you. Okay, get your license. license. Okay. Improper backing. She almost hit the dumpster there and then almost took out this car here. Really? Yeah. License for like the Hold fifth on, for like the fifth time. Take it easy, take it easy. Ma'am, just give take me your it license. Easy. Take it easy. I'm sitting I'm sitting on the drug. Alright, get out of the car. Step out. Hello. Step out of the car. Take it easy. Step out of the car. Take it easy. Step out of the vehicle. Take it easy. Step out of okay, the vehicle. Okay. Step out. 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 Sir. Okay. Put your hands on the dash for me, sir. Okay. Hands on the dash. Out. Out. Okay. Ma'am, leave the bag. Leave the bag on the floor and step out okay, of the car. Okay. Step out. Okay. Step out. Okay. Take it easy. Take it easy. Ma'am, I'm, I'm take, giving you multiple commands take, and you're not listening to me. Take it, take it easy, man. Step. I see, I see. Face that way. Face that way. Walk towards the sergeant. All right, Thank you. Brad. All right, Brad. Listen. Just put your hands on the hood. Stay right there. Don't move. Back. Don't move. No, no problem. So uh, y'all for real. That, that's how y'all come in. Put your hands on the hood. Do me a favor. Just step out. No, just walk no, to the front of the car, okay? Hey. No, Relax, okay? Hey. I don't know the number. No okay. Don't no, Walk up here. Put. Just. Am I being pulled over? Yeah, you're, you're pulled over. So. Put your hands on the hood and leave. So, them. Stop. Stop. Y'all pull me over. Stop. Stop. Yes, because you almost ran into this dumpster. He yelled at you no once. Way. Yes, you did. And then you almost took out that car right there. No. I'm not going to sit here and argue with you. It's all on camera, okay? I, I know, Listen, how much camera. weed is in the car? See. How much weed is in the car? Do you have a do you have a medical card? I do. You do. 
Is it properly packaged and in its containers? It, it should be. Okay. Second question, how much alcohol have you had to drink tonight? Well, I haven't had any alcohol. None? None at all? No, because okay. I, I, I don't even understand how you put me over. Ma'am, improper backing. Improper backing. Yes, ma'am. I, I hear you uh They have a, my they're ear. smoking a joint in the car right now. In a joint? In a car? I understand what you put me over for. Okay. Do you yeah. have your license on you? I have my perm perm over it for you. Yes. Yes. Where's it at? Put the the out and put where? What's your first name? Alana Williams. Alana? You lost some weight. I was fat for a little while, yeah. You lost some weight. Well, you didn't recognize you. I, th I thought you he were Alana. Me. He know me. Will. No, that's we know you. Willie son. I'm not Willie son. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, no. You're not Willie son. I'm not Willie son. <laughs> <I'm> not Cuban. <laughs> You're not Cuban. <laughs> no. No, Alana. You said. What I'm finna pull. Okay. Pulled over for. You can. Pop, what I just you told you. My, improper you backing. Improper okay. backing. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll take okay. that. Okay. I'm gonna ask you one more time. How much alcohol have you consumed tonight? I literally just got here like 10 minutes ago. Ma'am, you were here two hours ago when I was here. I probably was here two hours ago. Okay. Um, when he pulled me over. Okay. Alana, well, step, step over here. Okay. Listen. So you move listen, 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 listen. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Here, here, Here's my issue. I'm, up, I'm seeing several signs of impairment. And Are, you see listen, me listen, behind, behind listen. the wheel? Yes. Yes, I did. Come you on. see me, Alana. Alana, hold on. You see me. I'm like, going to give you the opportunity to dispel my belief you were under the influence. Are you willing right? to do field sobriety exercises to but dispel? I'm saying, my, like, am uh, I like here? I see you, like, and am, am I like see you like for here, Alana? Listen, I'm seeing my like my peer. Listen, Alana. They drank beer. Okay. I drank, I drank liquor. Okay. I understand that. Okay. And and Bragg's asking okay. him, and he's like, "Okay, Bragg." Alana, Alana, me and you were having a conversation. And and who am I speaking to? Deputy Radicky, ma'am. Mr. Radicky. Okay. Again, are you willing to do field sobriety exercises to dispel my belief you were under the influence of alcohol? You're saying field sobriety, like yes, ma'am. Like uh, I'm like a series of exercises to but, dispel my belief that you are DUI. Dude, you saying DUI, but like I'm here, like Alana. I hear the self. Alana. I hear the self. Listen. Alana. You Alana. Keep, Alana. You keep saying me, Mr. Listen, Radicky. Oh, my God. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos ain't got nothing to do with that. Alana. Juan listen. Carlos is asking me. You asking me what is in my belief, right? Alana. Belief, right? Alana. Right? Right? Look at, look right? at me. Right? Okay, I'm Dominican, about. Right? I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm about two seconds away from putting you in cuffs. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm giving you the opportunity for what? For DUI. For me, for me, because I'm Alana. Are you willing to do the exercises? Yes or no? What do you mean? So you're you asking me. One more and it's a refusal. Me, am I DUI? He's asking me if my belief is DUI, right? Juan Carlos? Juan Carlos, is, he was right? the passenger, Juan? you were the driver. I understand that, but okay. you're asking me if my DUI I'm Juan asking, Carlos. I'm asking you you're asking me to conduct standardized field sobriety exercises to dispel like, my belief that you are under the influence. So you're asking me if my DUI... Uh, change your mind back. Huh? Change your mind back. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 brag, 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 hold on, hold on, wait, 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 do you I, that's life, come here, come here, do you I, come here, listen, no, 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 do you have anything on you that's going to poke me, stick me, harm me, no, there's not nothing going to poke you, stick you, no, 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 brag, 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 wait, 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 Adam, come here. Alana. Come here, Adam. Alana. Come here, baby. Stop. What's going on? Hello. Hey, Adam, just stay out of it. They're going to act, act, like right? act like you're DOI, right? They're going to act like you're DOI. Adam. Oh, well, she was driving. He put, he put me out your wife. Uh, 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 uh. Yes. The why? The why? Listen, 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 listen. listen. I do I, I, are you wife? Have a seat. Adam, Adam, have a seat. Please, have a seat. Please, have a seat. Please, have a seat. Please, have, please do I have a seat, please, Alana? Please do I have, have a seat? Do, have a seat. I, I, Just have. I, I, put your foot in. Put your foot in. Alana. Listen. Alana. Listen. Please do. 
Listen, listen. Be what? Man. Adam. I didn't. That's what. John Paul. John Paul. Lost, 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 baby. Mom, mommy. Listen, listen. Why your wife? Oh my God. Yo, 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 yo. Step back from that car. You can talk from there. Don't come any closer. I, I don't know. I don't know what they locking me up for. I don't know what they locking me up for. <laughs> That's really crazy, you know. That's crazy, though. <laughs> deputies suspecting her of being intoxicated, they'd speak with the staff at the bar to further understand the situation. Sir, sir. How long has uh, Alana been here for? Alana? Who's Alana? Black girl with the hat? She had like four shots. Okay. So I figured, yeah. All right. Okay, we're good to go. Uh, the bartender said she had four shots while she was in there. You f***ing liar! What will transpire in the next few moments may, may just be the craziest attitude change in a matter of minutes. But it will only keep getting worse. <laughs> you funny! You funny! You mother! Right. You funny! You mother I'm female on board around the UI room coming to start. You mother You funny You mother You funny You done yet? You mother You funny You mother You funny You mother You mother You funny You mother You funny You funny You funny you're you want to trap me the sh**? You fucking trap! You hear me? You hear me, you piece of sh**? No, I don't. You fucking trap! Yeah, I got her in custody you're time already. Trash. I got the package. You're trash! You're papa, you're trash! You're mommy, you're trash! I love you. You're baby, you f**k! You're, you. you're piece of sh**! You must be free! You're piece of sh**! You fucking f**k! trash! This is why we don't take a drive. Your mother gonna f die, you piece of wow. You Polish trash! You Polish trash! I'm Polish you now. You f***ing! You f***ing shot! You f***ing shot! You f***ing family, you piece of Oh, now you guys spit on me? Okay, now you got felony. Now she's got a felony. Yeah, you mother of You bitch! Oh, you gonna spit on me, huh? No. You gonna no. spit stop. on me, huh? Stop, stop, stop. 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 You stop. Hey, I'll take it from here. Put this shit together. Put everything back. Clean up. I'll show you in Somebody advising that she did crash. Once our main officer's emotions boiled over, very understandably, the remaining deputies will try and speak with Alana to absolutely no avail. Nah, I used my last one for a old lady that ran Alana. Just step out of the car. Get job. You piece of job. Step out of the. You don't touch me. You job. 
breath. You want to see if we get a transport or you want me to take her? Just take her straight fucking down. The transport's going to take too long. Okay. Are you going to be okay taking her? Yeah. The suspect, Alana Megan Williams, faces charges of DUI, assault, battery on a law enforcement officer, threats against law enforcement, possession of marijuana, and resisting arrest. Don't you, step out of the don't car. You dare no. touch, step out. Don't you dare touch me. On March 18th, 2023, officers observed a Toyota sedan make an improper right turn. But before officers could even identify the suspects, chaos would ensue immediately. Immediately. Do you have your license with you? I do have my license. The reason we pulled you over is when you guys turned out, you made an improper right. Improper right? Yep. Do you have a medical marijuana card? I don't have a medical marijuana card. No, I wasn't driving earlier. Oh, she, she was just sitting I was maybe sitting, but I wasn't driving. Well, she was sitting. Wait, why were you watching me? We, we drove by. Do you have an idea on you? No, I'm just a passenger. Okay, we'll step out because we, we both smell marijuana, so step out. Step out of the car. Yeah, step out of the car, I'm gonna pull you out. Yeah, the car still only smell weed and you're trying to pull me out and be like. Okay, come on. Stuff. Upon first contact, officers note a smell of marijuana coming from the car. But once asking the occupants to step out, they'd claim that the officers don't have a right to do that. Step out. You don't have, you're not, you don't have the right. Ma'am, step out of the car. No, I do have the right. Don't. Come over here. Right, right, Ma'am, step out of the car. Me over there. Don't touch me. Ma'am, I'm about to grab you. Don't step you, out of the don't car. Don't you dare touch me. Step out. Don't you dare touch me. Hey, hey. Stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. What's your badge number? Hey, get back. What's your badge get number? Back. Get back. You want to go to jail too? Right. Get on the sidewalk. Okay. Just stand okay. here. Get up. After the woman aggressively resisted, the passenger would swiftly come to her aid, but would now proceed to escalate the encounter beyond comprehension. Hey, don't walk up that car. Got it. Hey. Okay. Just can you come chill over here for me, man? Don't do I'm not, not put gonna, your hands. I have no reason to touch put your hands you. On me. I'm putting my hands okay. On me. I have not no reason. To Stop walking away, Let then. The Go up there. Walk Back over up. there. Walk no. over there. I'm not walking nowhere. I'm standing on the sidewalk like stay you just told here. me. Okay, you said go on the sidewalk. Why are you I'm on the sidewalk. Why are you, Why are you telling me to do different stuff, you dumbass? Why are you You're a rookie. Stand you said come on the sidewalk. I'm on the sidewalk. I'm, I'm, not, going I'm, not, going I'm not going nowhere. I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying on the sidewalk. Okay, grab him. I'm staying on the sidewalk. I'm not going nowhere. I'm staying on this. No. No. Get me out of here. I'm not moving. Stop. I'm staying on the sidewalk. Stop. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not Stop. doing anything. Stop. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing. Okay, I will. I will stop. No. Okay, stop reaching. You about to break my neck? Okay, stop. Stop. Let go of your hands. Let go of your hands. I let go of your hands. Oh no. Stop. Dude, I'm not doing nothing. Please stop. Please freaking stop! Please stop! Ah, ah. Give us your hands! I've said it a hundred times. Fuck! Ow! 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 Oh! Oh! I can't breathe! I can't breathe! Okay. Oh. Over. Can I have water, please? Yeah, hold on. Mr. Murphy, please. Murphy, there's nothing in my pockets. I swear to God. No, your arm, dude. I'm my arm, dude. My you. elbow. Move your arm from like that, please. I was hey, eating my own is broken. He's got, a, I think he's got a zero in his pants. Don't grab it! I won't. Do not! Okay, I got it. Stop, stop. Once cops secured the firearm, the suspect's mom would quickly storm in, immediately claiming that her son has done nothing wrong. No! Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. No! Hey, I just pulled this out of his ass, okay? Yes, so get back. Mom, I did not have that on me! No! Ma'am, step back. He did, this just came out of his pants, okay? So step back. I just oh, Step back! I am over here, but you don't have to handle him like that! 
You do not, that's my Back up or you'll get cuffed too. Mom, I did nothing. Pull my pants up, I don't have nothing in my stuff. Despite claiming to have done nothing wrong, we all know that he knows that's a big damn lie. Alas, upon leading the teen to their squad car, he'd repeatedly act like he is the victim. Why is he going to jail? Because he resisted and he's Her. in possession of a concealed firearm. I did not resist. They slammed me on the ground. Wow. I'm going to the sidewalk. Hey. 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 They said, I'm going to the sidewalk. I'm going to the sidewalk and they slammed me. Stop. Just let them, let them do their job. Take a breath. She can't talk. Oh my god. Bro, excuse me? Can you loosen these cuffs up a little bit, please? After the teen was placed into a squad car, his mother would calm down. So the officer would inform her of what really went down. So where was he even coming from? I don't know, ma'am. I showed up after the struggle between so the two officers. The officer that pulled him over. How old is your son? He just turned 18. Okay, then we have under no obligation to tell you anything. These officers conducted a traffic stop. Your son resisted. When I showed up, he was on the ground handcuffed. I am the officer that pulled this out of your son's underwear, okay? That's not a commonplace. I'm sure he's not licensed to carry this, so that's, that's a jail yeah, sentence yeah, right there. Not a, it's not a sentence. You don't have to be licensed. Yes, you do. Here. To conceal it, oh. you do, ma'am. Yes, absolutely. I don't carry my firearm in my underwear. Okay, clinched between my butt cheeks. That's exactly where it was, and that's what my report's gonna say. And I was literally doing everything they said. They said go on the sidewalk. I went on the sidewalk. Yeah, the way is, do they have the body cam footage there, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. I, I, my dude. Oh my god. Can you please loosen it? Can I call my mom? What's going on? Can I call her? And can you please? She slipped out it? of her car. It's breaking my. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna fix this one before I adjust this one, okay? How old are you? I just turned 18. Okay, yeah, we'll let you call her. Oh right, yeah, when I went to grab it between his like I literally like almost hit the trigger. The male suspect was arrested and charged with obstruction, battery on a police officer, resisting arrest with violence, carrying a concealed firearm, and possession of a firearm during a felony. And the female suspect was charged with obstruction, possession of a controlled substance, and possession of drug paraphernalia. Although this woman was annoying, it doesn't even come close to this know-it-all named Rachel. Were you driving this way? Yeah, obviously. That's well, the way the vehicle's facing. So why do you keep saying obviously. Uh, do you just need always the one ask redundant questions or you just ask questions? On August 20th, 2023, officers responded to calls of a flipped car on the roadway. Upon their arrival, they'd be greeted by a witness who would give clarity on this confusing situation. Hello. Hello. Did you call? Um I don't know where the girl is that was driving. She's right there. Um, Whose car okay. is this? Um, that's my grandson's, and it was parked right here. Okay. He hasn't went anywhere all day. All right. and is everybody okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Everybody's all right. okay. I'll just have you guys hang out over there for now, okay? okay? All right. Upon gathering some much-needed context, the officer notices the driver located inside the sunroof of her car. He then quickly head over to speak with her, to where it became evident that this wasn't any ordinary car crash. Hello. Looks like you might have crashed your car, huh? Oh my gosh. Hi. <laughs> yeah, I'm Rachel. Nice to Rachel? You. What's going nice on? How'd this you. happen? I don't know. You're not sure? Yeah. It's your car? This is my vehicle, yes, yeah. obviously. Well, how did it end up on its side? I mean, obviously it's just right. playing golf. I see a kid's seat. There wasn't a kid in here when this happened. No, okay. no, no children in here. Were you driving it? I obviously was driving the vehicle. Okay, go ahead. Do you just need always the one ask for redundant Edward questions or you just ask questions? I just ask questions. I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah. So. so were you going, were you driving this way? Yeah, obviously. Well, That's my, the way the vehicle's facing. So. Why do you keep saying obviously? Well, I mean, I think um, everything with to... this scene is pretty obvious. So okay. I don't think there's much left to... What, how, I guess, 
As the officer began speaking with the woman, it's easy to spot just how condescending she's being, even though this officer is just simply doing his job. But as he'd press further, she would become significantly more entitled. Did you just not see the car on the side of the road or how did you I get it? Did, there was no car on the side of the road. There wasn't? Not to my knowledge, no. There was a car driving this way. I was literally driving in my own. Despite claiming that there was no car, a lie that she sure thought would stump the cop. However, she definitely didn't predict that he too has functioning eyeballs and quickly noticed the car. Still clearly confused about the situation, the officer would continue to question the woman. Where are you coming from tonight, Rachel? Um, I was coming from my friend's house on the south of town. On south of town? South. South. Yeah. The south side of town? South yes. side of Eau Claire? Yeah. What's their address? Do you know off the top of your head? I don't know. Okay. I would have to get my cell phone, which is in the car. You had anything to drink tonight, Rachel? Um, no, I haven't. You just be honest with me. No, I it's haven't. not gonna like it's not gonna incriminate no, 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 you any no, no, further. No, no, like no, that. I know. No, no. Not since six PM. Six PM. Do you have any like issues with your eyes at all like do you have any no, no i never don't any have any ocular degeneration that okay. i'm aware of do you now. have any first and foremost i guess i should have asked this a little bit ago are you injured at all no you probably should have some... asked that right away right? yeah you're right i should have yeah. i forgot i mean you were walking so i so here's the deal rachel so here's the deal I, just, I won't answer any more of your questions. Mm -hmm. You're not gonna um, answer any more of my questions? No. Okay. Um, well, you don't have if, to answer anything. I'm if just, you'd like hey. to know, nope, nope. Actually, Rachel. I'll let you know what's going on from now because you've superseded right your rights you of asking me questions. Hi, can, can I talk to you? Uh, nope. Um, and so, any okay. more questions you have, you can talk to my attorney. All right? While Rachel is correct in stating her right to not answer questions, it is obscene for her to believe that she is above the law. With a second unit appearing on scene, Rachel would inform her that she had drank nothing, despite literally stating the opposite mere seconds earlier. What's your name? You can talk to my attorney. He knows my name. Is it Rachel? I won't be answering any more of your questions. Okay. I think I've made that very clear. All right. Well, I'm just getting so, on scene. Yeah, so I, I don't think know what's I've, going on. I think I've made it very clear that any more questions anyone why has for me. Why do you think you need an attorney right now? Um, I think in general, any citizen that encounters a law enforcement officer outside of any normal circumstance should just refer that to an attorney. Okay. So any any interaction yeah. with a so I, I don't officer? think that any interaction okay. you and I have beyond okay. what him and I have. Where have you been drinking tonight, Rachel? I haven't been drinking tonight. I can smell the alcohol from you. Well I guess you can smell the alcohol from me, but I haven't been drinking, so Okay. Why am I smelling alcohol from you? You don't know? Have you been around people who have been drinking? Is there a reason why I'm smelling alcohol right now? It doesn't come from nowhere. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. Makes total sense. So yeah. where have you been drinking tonight? I think I already told you. Any questions you have, you can talk yeah, to okay. my attorney. Been over that. I think I that's like very Did you clear. Ask about fields? Are I you think... willing to perform any field tests for us tonight? No, I would not be willing to perform. Are you that. willing to do a PBT for us tonight? No. Okay, you're going to be under arrest for OWI. Okay. I got it. Hey, it's okay. Okay. Right, focus on where you're walking, please. Upon being placed into custody, per her refusal, she would then be placed into a patrol car to where officers headed back to the witnesses to gather their statements. 
Kind of makes it a lot easier when they don't cooperate with us. Yeah, you guys hear it? Yeah, I did. I, I was downstairs watching you develop. I heard it. Cody, get upstairs. Someone hit your car. I'm like, what? Yeah. So where was it parked? Literally parked right in between these two trees here. So yeah. it launched it like 20 feet, huh? Yeah. yeah. Holy cow. It's your vehicle? Yes, okay, what's your first name? Cody. And all you're going to need to do from this whole thing is you're going to just have to call Progressive, give them that case number, said that, say that your vehicle was hit, okay. and they'll be able to get all of the information from the crash from the police department. Okay. All right, I'll get you that, that crash card, and then if you want to, you probably want to move the vehicle. I could try. I would, to be able to flip a car on its side, yeah. you would think there would be a lot more damage than that. I've been working here for a little bit. I don't think I've seen a <laughs> car flipped on its side in the residential area before. Once finished speaking with witnesses, let's head back to Rachel in the squad car, where, to the surprise of absolutely nobody would begin acting like she knows the law better than the officers. And what am I under arrest for? Operating while well under the influence of alcohol. And is that assumptive or assured? I don't know what you mean by that. Um, is that an assumed offense or is that an assured? I still don't know what you mean by that. Okay. I didn't think so. It's okay. I mean, did you assume I was operating under alcohol or had you been assured by some sort of test? You just assumed, right? Correct? And is our conversation being recorded? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Correct? So you assumed I was operating my vehicle. Correct? Is that correct? Yes or no? Rachel, we're not going to have this conversation. Okay, so that was correct, right? That's why you arrested me. You assumed I was operating my vehicle. What happened to you not talking? Well, <laughs> I won't talk anymore, dear. I just, you never read me my Miranda rights or told me what I was in the arrest for. So I was looking for some clarification because my Miranda rights were never read and you also never told me what I was under the arrest for. Do you remember that part? When you didn't tell me what I was under the arrest for or you didn't read me my Miranda rights? Do you remember that part? I didn't think so. That's okay. It's okay. It's a bitch when you arrest a lawyer. I mean, it's okay. We all learn. The worst part is, is I'm not intoxicated and I don't think there's anything else to say. This misinformed lawyer was charged with OWI for her first offense and received citations for failure to maintain control, unsafe lane deviation, and no proof of insurance. These are my items here. That's all right. You're under arrest. On May 30th, 2023, Walmart informed police about a shoplifting in progress with a baby. Once they'd arrive, they'd track the pair on Walmart CCTV. That's her right there. That's okay. Right now. So is it just her or is it both of That's them? That's all. Only her. Her friend. That's her friend. Okay. So she's not still. She's not she's technically, she's, she's, she, she's part of She, um, they have, they have uh, drawers. Okay. She popped one of the drawers apart, stacked them too, so it looks like there's one, but it's actually two stacked on top of each other. Yeah, they're together. Yeah. And they got a kid with them. That's a crazy thing. Do we know if they came in the car or do they have like a lookout? Do we know? She was the lookout. The friend was the lookout. Which way are they going? They're going the other way. They're going to the bathroom. They're going to the restaurant. Can I tell the kid that their mom, whose mom's a loser? <laughs> <laughs> so we're good on the on the black female. Yeah. All right, let's go grab her. She's in the bathroom. So. I identify as a woman. Once the officers verified the suspects, they'd hustle out to track down our main suspect, where she denied doing anything wrong. She's right here. Just so. yeah. 14, we're gonna make 10 12 in the woman's bathroom. Boy and Beach Police Department. Boy and Beach Police Department. I'm sorry? Boy and Beach Police Department. Okay. Come on, ma'am. We yes. need you to step on out, all right? I'm sorry? Step on out, you're concealing items, you're under arrest. No, I'm not. Yes, ma'am, you are. I just saw these items in here, I was just looking like what the fuck. These are my right. items here. Right. 
That's all right. You're under no, arrest. Oh, no, I'm under arrest. Raina! 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 Oh, I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. I'm not concealing items. He's under pain for Raina! I'm not concealing items, sir. Please, I need to call my friend. Raina! Raina! Stop resisting or you're going to get tased. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Hey, put, put away the taser, grab her off. Give us your hand. Give us your hand. Raina, please come get Noah. They're arresting me. Raina, come get Noah. I don't know why they're arresting me, bro. Please come get Noah. Come to the bathroom, bro. Stop. Why are you? Stop, bro. Stop. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. You're gonna get more charges, just stand up. I'm trying! Wait, she needs to come get my baby. She needs to come get my baby. She needs to come get my baby! Stop spitting. You're gonna get another charge. Why are you arresting me? Hey, don't stop. Stop, bro, stop! It's already immature to bring your kid shoplifting with you, but to act like a victim despite stolen items literally being in the bathroom with you. But now we meet our accomplice who would brazenly claim that pregnant people can't be arrested. Hold on. My nephew's over there. I understand I'm coming that. Adore. You're I'm with him. You're with him. Just stay sagging tight for us. She's gonna come. They're gonna talk to you all. I'm coming, right? Adore. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm right here. I'm right here. They're gonna give me Noah. I'm right here. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, y'all gotta give me my kid. Y'all can't do that. Listen. Listen. Y'all are gonna give me my kid. That's what's I'm not putting happen. my hands on y'all. I'm not touching okay. y'all. So That's you can go get happen. my kid. Okay. Then I'm gonna go you get. You don't make orders my here. Kid. We're here. Because I don't know. You guys Who? are doing stuff in the store, right? Doing what? We don't, we Trying don't to pay for some shit. Okay. What are you talking about? You, you don't come at me like want. that. Don't come at me like you that. You, you, you want to check my purse? Because I don't you got shit. Hang out? You want to relax or I can you put you in handcuffs and deny you. No, you can't do nothing. No, right. come here. Come here, daddy. Take a step to the side. Step to the side. I'm not you going to give me my nephew. I'm going to tell you that right step now. Step right here. Do not move again. If you move again, you're going to... I'm pregnant. Right. You can Excuse me? Relax. Excuse me? Relax. I'm pregnant. You're putting your hands on me. Relax. Please let go of me. Relax. I will cooperate with you guys. Please let go of me. Please let go of me. You guys do realize you're putting me in handcuffs for nothing, right? Hey, little man. Come here. I am, Adore. I am. I got you. This is crazy. This is what we're doing? Okay. No, legally, you can't do this because I'm pregnant. And I'm, I didn't do anything wrong. Where can people go to jail? Nah, for what? Yelling at y'all? Legally, I can yell at y'all. I can tell you to go to hell legally. Go Despite ahead. her prior ludicrous statements that pregnant people can't be arrested, it quickly became evident that that was just not the case. With our main suspect now brought into the security room for questioning, she'd keep resisting in front of her own child. Go ahead. Yes. Have, a mom, Have a seat. Have a seat. No, I need my child. You're resisting. I'm not resisting. How am I resisting? I'm not fighting. I don't want to sit. Sit down. Sir, sit down. Do I have to? Yes, you I have to. to. Like, you guys got me in handcuffs for no reason right now. This is crazy as hell. This is crazy right now. Raina, I got you, Adore. I got you, bro. I got you. Noah's right here next to me, right here. Like, you guys got me in handcuffs for no reason. This is crazy. Like, bro, this is crazy. Oh, I'm not getting in your car, sir. There's no reason for me to get in your car. I'm pregnant, and I don't need to get in your car. Sir, let go of me, please. Please let go of me. I'm Easy asking nicely. I'm cooperating, but you don't need okay. to hold on to me and have me in handcuffs. No, I'm pregnant, and I'm not sitting seat. in your car. No. Take a seat, man. No. No. We can't put you in there because the other person is in there. The you cannot put me car. in there because I'm not going to jail for take nothing. We never said you're going to jail yet. You need to I take said, me take out of handcuffs. Seat. Legally, you can. You okay, let me call my now? lawyer. Take my handcuffs off. Take a seat. Take my handcuffs off because you take cannot do this. You cannot do this. Can you take a seat, please? No. After both suspects would be ignorant to the officer's orders, we'd return to our main suspect, where her act of mom of the year would continue. Hey, listen, guys. Hey, listen to it. Oh, you have Hi, baby. No, I need to kiss my baby. He's fine. He's gonna be in here, okay? No. You have the I right to remain silent and not answer any questions. Any no, 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 no. statement you must make it must be freely and voluntarily given. Bro. Sit down. Sit down. You gotta get multiple resisting charges. I need to sit. Why are you making me sit wrong? Can I sit properly? Well, no. I think you sit properly, but you don't want to listen. Because I want to sit. Sit the f down. All right. My face. 
Yeah. I gotta get home to my daughter. You, right? You're not working I'm with working me. With I need to go home to my kid. My kid is at home with a baby. Take a seat. Bro, give me my fing kid. Take a seat. What are you talking about? Get the shit off of me, bro. You're doing all this for no reason. No, because I don't have nothing. So why the fing do you have me in handcuffs? Are you gonna call me? Did I steal? No, I didn't. You're just making this longer than it needs to be. Bro, get me out of these handcuffs, bro. You're just making it longer than it needs to be. It is truly remarkable how similar both suspects are. They just cannot accept the consequences for their actions if their life depends on it. But cops knew this and would drop a bombshell on our main suspect in an attempt to have her actually start listening to them. Okay. Listen, here's what's going to happen. What's going to end up happening is he goes with DCF, you don't cooperate. DCF? So, yeah, so I would suggest that you cooperate. I am cooperating. Because we can, we can make this a whole lot harder for you. I just want to know Well, I'm explaining to you. Answer. You don't have to worry about that. Okay. We got it under control. Okay. So you cooperate with us and we'll make this go. You feel me? So tell me what's going on. Why are we here? I came to get work outfits. Work outfits? Okay. And that's all? Yeah, and she's moving, so she came to grab a couple other things. What other things did she get? I don't know, I was in the car. Moving boxes? You were in the car while she was getting the moving boxes and no, all? No, we were in the store together. Right okay. there. So, she was getting moving boxes and what were you getting? We were together the whole time. What were you getting? I got my scrubs with her and then we went over to get boxes. Why did you take the items into the bathroom? I originally went in there to go pee and check my son. Okay. So, you realize you cannot take items even in the bathroom? I didn't know that. Have you only I've done that, that before. Boxes so, from my purchase regardless, items. that's fine. We have you on video selling items in your purse if that's the reason for your arrest. Okay. What? So once you can sell something in like a purse or in your property, that is a crime. Okay. Walmart is Despite claiming ignorance on the literal definition of stealing, but we all know that she knew what she was doing. But in a dramatic twist, her accomplice would then straight up snitch out her sister. Clearly, you guys just pulled her out of a bathroom with shit. So clearly, she was stealing. It's obvious. And so, literally, you just okay. pulled her out of the bathroom so with you a have whole knowledge fucking thing. I just seen her with a bag. Did you I'm, not just I, see her I'm, too? I'm standing. I'm standing. Bro, I'm not a bro. Okay, I'm standing two feet away from you. There's I no need to yell, it's okay? Cool. I'm gonna see Boy and Beach Police Department. It's very you cool. guys have me in fucking handcuffs. Yes, ma'am, we do. Yes, ma'am, we do. You need to call an ambulance, is what you need to do. Okay, do you need medical attention? Yeah, I do. Okay. She's going too, right? The other one? Okay. What's that? There it is, a true do a crime, face the punishment, and threaten to sue classic. Alas, as our main suspect couldn't cooperate with the officers, they'd inform her that her child will be taken to DCF, which she won't take very lightly. If you love him, take her to the car. Right. You're gonna jump. I'm not leaving until you he gets someone here. They have her property away. Stop, stop her sister. Don't keep pulling away. I need to know who is gonna come get my child. No, you host this stuff gonna come get my child. Y'all just told me his grandma's gonna come. I need to call his grandma to come get him. I'm not letting him go to DCF, bro. No, y'all got me. No, y'all said y'all was gonna let me get his grandma. I'm not going, bro. Okay, can I sit? Can I sit? Although our accomplice didn't verbally cooperate, she didn't get physical with cops, so they'd cut her a break and allow her to be set free, with the stipulation that she'd appear in court at a later date. I'll tell you what's gonna happen, all right? So after you go to the hospital, we're gonna cut you a break. We're gonna release you with an NTA, okay? As long as you provide all information, I don't really you go Listen. I just want my nephew to come. If I don't release you on the NTA, I have to take you to county. So it's all up to you. I don't have anything. NTAs, I release you tonight, and you got to go to a court date, all right? And you tell them, you, hey, listen, you, you argue that with the court. You argue that with the court, okay? I can release you an NTA, or you can, I can take you to county. Whatever you want to do, that's up to you. Okay, so we're going to take you to the hospital, get your information, and release you. That's fine. As soon as I release you from the hospital, you call whatever you want. No, she's going to leave my kids. You don't understand. I need to call them. The faster we get you up to the hospital, that's fine. We're gonna take you up to the hospital right now and we're gonna let you know, okay? Ma'am, you alright? No, I need to know where my son is. He's inside, he's with, with the other officer, alright? Where's Raina? Your your female she was with? You were yes. with? Yeah, she's in this car. Where's my son gonna go? He's gonna go in there. DCF's gonna come. No, I okay. have somebody come get him. Okay, let me talk to them and see what Please, they're gonna do, I, okay? I, I Just have hang so on. much family come get uh, him. I don't want him in this 
The suspect was charged with petty retail theft, resisting arrest without violence, and child abuse. Despite her significant charges, the court dropped the case as they believed a conviction to not be possible. If you thought these sisters were annoying, you have not met this couple. An entitled couple who thought they owned a public street. On November 2nd, 2021, neighbors called police for vehicles parked on a public roadway. I need two 1070s here. Howdy. How do? I don't know if there's someone in the house or not, but they won't come to the door, so this might get them out. They're both illegally parked and a hazard, so I got the BMW done right now, so you can take that one first. Miss? Hi. You have an association with this car? Yeah, it's my boyfriend's car. Um, can you prove can you prove ownership? Yeah, I have a title. Um, the problem was it wasn't running. That's why it's been parked right there. But okay, I well, tried to push it into the driveway. We've been here for a half an hour trying to reach someone. So now they have it and now you have right to make here. a way. Is there any way you, you could just You don't own it, he doesn't own it. Yes, we both own it. Okay. It is our car. Is the title in your name? It is in his name. Then that does us no good. Um he lives here. Excuse me. Please can you please make an exception? I've it been is, here for a half an hour. I banged on your door, got nothing. I didn't hear it. Okay. So he can, can go show not? proof and he can pick it up. You know anyone owns this car? That's next. Okay. That was my boyfriend's no. car. That, that, I wasn't that one's going that. next. I wasn't aware that you were. So this one's car. already done. Could you please make an exception and help me push it into the driveway? So that no, because you don't even own it, miss. Yes, I, yes, we do. No, you said some yes. other person who's not here owns it. Okay. And they didn't register it. So they can go it, like, to the, the tow yard, side. show proof, and pick it up. She asks for an exception when she had the officer wait over 30 minutes for her to come outside. But now her boyfriend conveniently calls her and will begin to encounter his extreme entitlement. Hello? Just a, they're towing the B7 and they're about to tow Mitch's car. So you guys should get back here. The B the B7 is is still right here, but the police officer is not letting me take possession of our car. Why? I don't know why. Why aren't you letting me put this car into my driveway? Because you don't own it, miss. He owns it and he lives here. Okay, well, if he were here, we maybe. Both own it. We if both he, if someone it. else were here, maybe I talk to them. Can you hear that? Okay, so I have to come talk to him. Do you go through? I don't. Know, I guess so. Um, they're towing. They're taking the B7 right now. I like guess. Up on the thing. He won't let me push it into our driveway. This guy claims the officer has an ego trip because they believe they're entitled to park on a public roadway. But couldn't they have just parked in their empty driveway? But now this woman will attempt to block the tow trucks from taking their cars away. Can I please have your business card? Sure. I need you to move out of the way. Nope, not moving. If you don't move, I'll arrest you, miss. He's saying he's gonna arrest me if I don't move. They're going to be here in five minutes. Move or you'll be arrested, miss. Wait five minutes. You're not the owner. I'm gonna count to three. They're miss. going to be here in five minutes. You're gonna be arrested if you don't move. They said, let me talk to my boyfriend real quick. Move away or you'll be arrested. You can't arrest me when they're going to be here in five you minutes. Watch me? Are can you, you an please, adult? Can you, you please, wanna watch? Can you please stop? Wanna watch? No, you no, please, I don't listen to you, miss. Please stop your power. Last chance. Last please chance. Stop your power. You move out of the way. Please. It's not your car. You're in the way. Can you please listen to me? No, you need to listen. Are you gonna move okay. or not? I will move. Turn around. Place your hands behind your back. No, they're going to, he's saying he's going to arrest me. Turn around, place your hands behind your back. Her boyfriend actively tells his girlfriend to stay and get arrested, claiming he'll sue the cops. Luckily for you guys, we get to meet him in person soon. Okay. Are you, are you going to move or not? You, are please, you refusing to move, miss? You're going to be arrested. Can you please? Turn around, place your hands behind you your back please, if you're not going to move. Can you please? Turn around and place your hands behind your back if you're not going to move. Listen, dude. Can you please? Not dude. Can you please just turn around and place your hands behind your back or move? The the owner of this car okay, no. is going to be okay. here in like third two time. Minutes. Third time. Turn around and place your hands behind Trust your back me. or you're gonna be arrested. Yes or no? You can't arrest me. Yes, I can't. Turn this. around. No, you can't. Yes, I can. No, you don't have probable cause. Go on to start. You do not have probable cause. You're go we're going I'm trying to not to. I'm trying not to, but I can't. Obstruction is the probable cause. Alright. There we go. She initially moved out of the way, but soon darts back once the tow trucks begin to move. She's then arrested for obstruction and placed in a patrol vehicle. And now we meet the entitled man we heard this woman speaking to on the phone. Why the f are my cars being towed? Why the f are my cars being towed? I'm not climbing the f down. Let's put my cars back down. I'm not, I'm not doing this. We've had zero warning, zero anything. You're arresting my girlfriend for park, park. What the f 
is going on? I just got here. Okay, so explain. Let's forward it. Started out. You pulling up like this and being hot. I was doing the speed limit. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing anything hotter than you guys are doing right now. I just got here. So sir. what's going on on your side? I show up to all my cars being towed away okay. and then someone being arrested. Are they in the roadway? No, they were parked here. Sir, can you can you help me understand what's going on here? Well, what? now that the, if this is your vehicle. Yes. And you can it's prove not. ownership, now you'll have to pay the release fee. No, why? I didn't do anything. Okay. Why is it getting towed? It's illegally parked at a roadway hazard. Who am I to talk to then? Well, don't walk up on him like that. I'll walk up on him. No, you hey, won't. Hey, hey, yes, hey, I will. What the f is going on? Wait, wait, wait. You want to tow on my shit? Explain what's going on. I see this. Well, now you can go to the tow lot and make arrangements to pick up the car. You guys are messing with the wrong f***ing people. You are going to be sued. Really? I probably make more than you make in it. I, I have no. To, to feel a sense of superiority, he spouts that he makes more money than the cops. And it's interesting how he seems to care much more that his cars are being towed than his girlfriend being arrested. No yeah, one's answering any questions. Okay, what do you guys want to do here? Are you, you done bullying I us? I am talking with my partner, figuring what's okay, going on now. Okay, you're parked in my front yard, so what do you want to do? Not in your front yard. We're in the street. You just took my car for no reason. This is not helping you guys. I don't. Just shut the f*** Oh, your phone and eyeglasses. Do you want to come with you or do you want to go with Chester? I guess she wants you to have her phone and whatever's on the top there. Couldn't even wait two minutes for me to come back. I get back and then you go. And then I get ignored. I'd be jealous too if I made my yearly salary in your life. And you're just going to ignore me, huh? You made a statement. Do you have a question? I have a million questions. You guys won't answer them. You answer them with the vaguest, dumbest, like, I don't know what's going on, and that's because you guys won't explain it to me. I'm trying to be reasonable. The car was towed. We were called here oh, for a reason. Here. What's there the reason? Oh, I wasn't dispatched. I came as a backup officer. Backup for what? Because my partner made an arrest. I'm a backup officer. That's why I'm here. You just got here, so you don't know. What's Please step back. Uh, I gotta find my eyeglasses. Drop them? I may have when she was twisting around. I don't see them down here. They would have been right on top of the grass and not if they got buried. Or... The officer mistakenly left his glasses on the couple's car, so now the boyfriend has possession of them. And suffice to say, he won't be giving them back easily. Off the property. Off the property. Yes, he, where do you, do you think he's standing? Nope. I'm about to about there. I'm good. Are those her glasses or mine? They were on the car. They're mine now. Well, they look a lot like mine. They were on the car. So now we're good. I'm not doing it. Why are you running? Hey, You're off, my off my property. Off my property. I think he has shirt? my eyeglasses no, and you just threw them in there. Glasses. You gave them to me. They were sitting. Off my property. Off they were sitting property. on the car. Yes, on my car. You told me to get them. Are, are yes, those on my car? Are those my officer's glasses or not? Do you want me charged with theft, Chester? Okay, fine. You want your glasses? Yeah, after you threw them, if they're damaged, you're going to get charged with criminal mischief. Calm down. Where did they even go? You threw them in here somewhere. Do you want to no, they are. They're brand new. Good Thank to go. What's your name? Yours? Those are mine. The woman was charged with obstruction without violence, and after many months, the state did not prosecute this woman. The man faced no charges. They never refused me. I was already on the plane. Yeah. You don't get over here. Okay, hold on. Let me get everybody out. Right. Okay, we'll get everybody out. On July 10th, 2022, the Spirit Terminal at Miami International Airport had a fully boarded plane headed for Detroit, Michigan. Initially, she was denied boarding. The woman would then sneak onto the plane and she threatened to assault passengers if they did not take off. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just, I just walk in. Like, just, like you guys, I walk in with you guys. Uh, for what I understood, I just rushed in. Um, the agent went to close the door and there was one that was sitting on the flight and was refusing even to move. Philippe, is uh, Stephanie, uh, Stephanie inside? They said that already? Yeah. Let us do it as you go and let him know. But we have to listen because it's just part of the war. Yeah. And if not, we have to detain everybody? Everybody. Yes. What's he? Let's go, let's go to 
Jeff Bezos. What do you mean? No, come over here. Talk about. All right. Going home like everybody else. If I don't go home, nobody go home. Okay. Okay. Here, I'll All right. I never did nothing. Yeah. I paid for my ticket like everybody else. Man, we need to talk to you. <laughs> Let's go outside. No, I don't have to talk to y'all. Okay, we're gonna make it worse. Y'all can send me a paper in the mail. You, you okay? Y'all can literally send me something in the mail. What, whatever. I paid for it. I paid for it just like everybody else. The sheer entitlement of this woman is baffling. She refuses to exit the plane, stating that if she has to get off, so does everybody else. Her refusal persists, ultimately leading to the police having to deboard the plane. Well, they're going to charge against you for okay. yeah. so can you I mean, guess what? I'm going to beat the case because I'm not trespassing. Ladies and gentlemen, unfortunately, we're going to have to deplane everybody. Oh, Watching this back is definitely annoying, like she's ensuring everybody else's inconvenience and then deciding to get off the plane. But before doing so, she'd shout out her Instagram to passengers filming her. Okay, let's go, let's move. My boarding pass is the same flight as everybody else. What do you mean? They just want to have an attitude because they're miserable. They're miserable with their life. There's nothing for you to say. What is okay, there for fine, you to say? Okay. Like I said, y'all want to make my life hard, make everybody else's life hard. No, not at all. I want to go home. I don't even live here. Okay. The f that's weird. Y'all weird. Yeah, everybody getting off. Y'all too. You can go. Let's go. You go in front of me. And she going to go behind. And she's going too? behind me. No, okay. that's mine, right. clearly. All right, let's go. You're not going behind me, though. Ma'am, let's go. You can go, and I will go behind you. Go ahead. You're not walking behind me, period. Ma'am, let's go. I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Yes, please I, record. I you, Thank you. I'll give you this. Uh, my Instagram is... So send it to me so I can send it to my daddy. Upon exiting the plane, she would continue arguing until she talked herself into handcuffs. I didn't do shit. I have everybody a ticket like everybody here, else. Everybody here is out. And I have a ticket like everybody else. What do you mean? Oh, it's fun. It ain't all grounded. It's all This woman faced charges of disorderly conduct and destruction of aircraft, and she was sentenced to probation for her behavior. On April 24th, 2023, officers responded to the school for reports of a suspended student who was refusing to leave the campus. So she's walking wherever she wants. She's on the phone with mom, and she's suspended. Okay, where are you trying and to get her to? Will, I, I want her in Lippa's office. At this point now, she needs to go to the phone office. All right, they've already said you're suspended, so if you go in that building, I'm gonna put you in. Oh, they're literally on me right now. That's a up. All right, no. Get off me, bro. Get off me. Stop. Get the off me. Stop. Get off of me.
Upon initial contact, the student would become immediately violent, leading to a brawl on the school floor. But it won't get easier though, as she then began striking the officer. My mom is calling me, stop. Off me. <laughs> I'm not getting on the floor. Get, pick me up and I'll put, put them behind my back. I will once I get the up. I'm not getting on the floor. Get me your arms. No, you're not getting up. Get me your arms. Get me your arms. No, you're not getting up. He just said I can. I'm going to stand the up. What the f*** is this? No, I said no. Although claiming that the officer's use of force was unnecessary, she somehow doesn't understand that none of this would have happened if she had simply complied in the first place. But now, as you'll see, she'll begin arguing with everybody. Y'all are so unnecessary. Y'all all in my That was unnecessary as I was walking the Now I have to put me on the ground, bitch. Bro, you're tiny for no f***ing reason right now. Can you loosen it? There's no f***ing reason for that. Stop f***ing pushing me around on f***ing toy in I'll be able to fix it in there. No, fix it right the f*** now. Once the teen was taken into the school office, her mother would now swiftly arrive on scene. But take note of how quickly the teen's demeanor would shift as a result. Good. Go down here, take a right, and then take a left. After finally being secured and more relaxed due to her mother's presence, additional officers arrived to take the girl to jail, where her attitude is now suspiciously different while her mother was observing the scene. You got your pair? Yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these off you. I'm gonna put your hand on top of your head afterwards, okay? That hand on top of your head. What about your neck? Should we take it off? Yeah, they're gonna make you take all that off. Just gonna make sure you don't have anything in your pockets, okay? I think there's a mint in there. A mint? There's two of them. A what? Right. A mint. Like I said, they'll call you here in, in a little bit to come pick her up. Like I said, okay. I, that's if she doesn't point out. I cannot imagine with this being her first arrest that she would point out. Most likely be calling you to pick her up today. Okay. Okay. Alright, then can I have you come back in with me so we can get yeah. the rest of the paperwork? Yeah, I'm heading back to my office. This teen was charged with one felony count of battery on a police officer. No, he's lying about okay. that I that, that Okay, listen, well, I we're going to ask you. Listen, ask I can't home. do home. this. What's right now? I want to go home. Well, you're not going home now. You're going to jail. I haven't done anything wrong. I didn't even leave the store. Cape Coral Police responded to a Walmart for a shoplifting in progress. But upon their arrival, they'd be met with this woman who would deny absolutely everything. Bacon is not showing up there. I know. I rang up the wrong vacuum. Remember? Do you have the other one with you right now? They're both. They were both on clearance. Ma'am, do you have your license on you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Can I have it? I rang up the wrong freaking vacuum, an unintentional mistake. I just spent $250 for $20. This is ridiculous. Okay, for what? Because you're being trespassed again. Oh, okay, that's beautiful. Where were you born? What? Where were you born? I mean, where? I just spent $250. I didn't do this intentional. I don't work here. I don't know how this shit works. I rang up the wrong vacuum. Oh my god, dude. 40 till when I have mom works here. Like, I'm gonna steal from the place my mom fucking works. I won't pay for it. I have the money to pay for it. I don't work here. I don't. This is ridiculous. They need to bring the registers back to normal and maybe this shit wouldn't happen. I see that guy following me around the whole store. Like, I'm gonna do something intentionally when I know somebody's following me around. All of that was in scan. Did she pass points of sale? That is. Bullshit that was not scanned. Maybe it's misscanned. Bullshit, bullshit. And it got deleted off my receipts. I did not not scan. Okay, this is on here. This is on here. This is on here. So, um, you're crazy. Lying. 
Straight up line. That's on here. It's right here. Right here, right first thing. Oh, and wait, I have something on here that I didn't buy. I rent, I scanned something that I didn't get. I get credit for that. Despite this woman claiming to have maybe misscanned items, we'll now learn about her elaborate scam very shortly. However, her victim complex will now reach new heights as additional officers arrive to question her. Rita ran and asked her why she didn't pick the items so she starts stuffing them in the bags. I'm gonna read you your rights, okay? I'm gonna ask you a question at the end. No, I just need you to ask. Listen, no, he's lying about okay. the shit that I that that. Okay, listen, well we're gonna ask you. We're gonna listen, ask I can't do this. this. What's her name? Uh, my kid. Yeah. Like, Where's your kid up? Paula. All right, listen, Paula. I have done nothing. Paula, wait. Yeah, give me a second. Um, Paula's come right back here. Okay. I'm just gonna read your rights here. Going anywhere? Okay. Don't Touch me, please. Please don't put your hands on me. I'm calling. Oh, right. What are you Stop talking resisting. about? Stop resisting. This is all on video. Stop I'm not resisting. resisting. Stop tensing. Okay, call a lawyer. I want a lawyer. Call me a lawyer, please. Somebody call me a lawyer. I can't believe this is happening. You guys, I can't believe this is happening. This is a fucking accident. Are you kidding me right now? Stop turning towards us. You're not listening to me. We tried to talk to you. You just no, want to walk you away. No, you didn't. I didn't. I tried to call a lawyer, and I have that right. Yeah, that's a joke. Okay. Not right now. It can't just be me, but doesn't this woman sound exactly like Terry Ann Blues? <laughs> Anyways, when she was placed into handcuffs, she would play every victim card in the book. No, so no now we're not... I can't go to jail. Well, you're going now. I, I can't. You don't understand. I can't. I have a child child. He doesn't have a father. He's dead. I don't. So it was with your child now. My mother. Okay. No. You help have the right to remain silent. Please, somebody help me. Please, this is not right. Paula. I didn't huh? do anything wrong. I swear I didn't. Okay. Just read the well, we gotta give you. Why are you doing this? All right, listen. You have the right to remain silent. Please help me. Somebody. Anything you say this can be used against you in this court. This is so wrong. You have the right to talk to a lawyer this for advice so before wrong. we ask you any questions I'm and have you present no. during Please any questioning. Me. You're hurting me. I am uh, disabled. If you and cannot I afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to you before stop. questioning Please if you stop. wish. Squeezing if you decide to stop, I'm not If kidding. you decide to answer questions without a lawyer present, you still have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand the rights that I've read to you? Paula, do you understand the rights that I just read to you? Yes. Okay, with these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to us? No. Okay. I want to go home. Well, you're not going home now. You're going to jail. Please. You can't hurt me. Please. Do you see this over an accident? Over a fucking accident? Please. Well, stand up straight. Oh, I can't. I have a bad back. I'm not even joking. I was just in an accident. Would you please stop? You're fucking hurting me. I'm not joking. Stop. You're fucking hurting me badly. Oh, oh, oh. You don't understand. I am disabled. You think that's kidding? I'm not kidding. You're hurting me so bad. Please. I beg you. I promise you I did it. Please stop. I can't believe you're making me do this. It's making me feel like this. Stretch feet to the best of your ability. Please. Knowing that she won't escape arrest by playing the victim, she did now resort to stating that she is willing to pay for the items. Granted, they let her go, which sadly for her just won't be happening. I was willing to give it back. I was willing to pay for it. It was a freaking accident. I don't work here. I rang up the wrong item. You didn't ring up multiple items. You just start stuffing clothes in the bag. Stop talking for a minute. You want to know what's happening? I will tell you. I didn't don't do it interrupt on me, though. I'm not going to talk to you if you interrupt me, okay? So it's time to listen. I didn't okay? do it. Okay? You're literally on camera stuffing clothes in the bags. At the register. Without scanning them. You scan, you I pay. You didn't them. do that. You I just, thought you just... I scanned them on the. Um, you, you As I went, it was an accident. Not hand by hand like that. It Absolutely was an not. accident. It was not an accident. Yes, it was. Why won't anybody listen to me? It was an accident. We gave you that opportunity. You don't let anybody no, talk. I tried you because talking. you won't listen to me. You keep talking. I can't explain anything to you. Just because you talk a lot doesn't make you right. Is she good? Is she sir? I've been yeah. real. All right, let's get in the car real quick. Come on, step in there. Jail. I'm gonna Thank throw you. up. I'm gonna throw up. Sit. Please don't do sit. this. Please. Sit. Look back. Sit. Keep please. going in. Keep going in. I'm begging All you. All the way in. Thank you. Please. All the way in. I'm begging you. Please. All the way in. Oh my 
God, I'm begging there you, you. Go. please. I can't. I'm going to, dude, I am, I need my medication. I can't do this. Okay. I'm going to tell you what. Sick. I'll tell you what. We'll just call EMS. So they can check you out. Once you're clear, you're going no. to go. All of you. Hey. While this woman scrambled to come up with excuses for her theft, officers just weren't buying it. But once she was placed into a squad car, her and an officer would have a one-to-one -to, -one to give her an honest chance to explain herself. Hey, can, can I talk to her by myself for a second? Like, by myself. Look, I, I don't I don't know what happened. You're okay. real me. I promise you it was an accident. Well, it could be an accident or not, but... I'm so scared. Why are you, what are you scared of? I can't. Okay. I can't go to jail. Well, I have muffins with mom. There, really you don't. You don't have to go to jail tonight. Okay. But I need you. To, I need you to be honest. I'm being honest. Okay. I know you're using the skin as you go. And if they're trying to railroad you, okay, right, I could see if they're trying to railroad you by scanning your card, your credit card, because it will show me the receipt. Do you want me to do that? If it shows that you paid for that stuff that you no, scanned. No, it, it was an accident. What do you I, mean? The thing is, you rang it with your scan it with your phone. Right. And it didn't scan. I didn't not ring it on purpose. Oh, is there some stuff that didn't scan? Yes. So what do you think didn't scan? These bathing suits. So was it just the bathing suit? I don't know. You they don't were know. they were try they were lying and saying other stuff didn't and I showed them on the receipt four things that they said that didn't ring up. So you and think were on the receipt. Okay. They rang up the wrong vacuum. Like it was You rang up the wrong vacuum? Yes. So did you ring up like a It was a, a $89 worth of $100. So it was an $89 vacuum, and how much was the one that you walked $100. out with? $100. It was a, cl a, cl a clearance thing. They were okay. both on clearance. I scanned both of them to see... To see which one yes. was better and, priced? And yes, and I grabbed the, the opposite one. Her? This officer skillfully applied the foot-in-the-door technique. Getting the suspect to first admit scanning the item paves the way for deeper interrogation about the crime. Officers would then collaborate with Walmart staff to meticulously scan each allegedly stolen item. Her story is that she used the app. She thinks she put the clothes on first. The app closed out. She said the only thing that she knows that she screwed up on is the vacuum cleaner because she said she scanned the vacuum cleaner twice. She was trying to see two different prices. She had deleted one and she thinks she said that she deleted the wrong vacuum cleaner. Obviously, she's stealing the vacuum cleaner for a cheaper one. As well as, uh, I have a receipt put up right here. No clothes on receipt. No clothes. What about this? Uh, what is it? Oh, that's the eight app? Yeah. No, that's the no four, 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 four amp. You scan an uh, eight amp thing. That's uh, that's thirty six dollars. That one's fifty two. Uh, fifty eight. So she scanned something else for it. Yeah. Okay. Stolen. Guarantee this is stolen. Uh, thirteen eighty four. No. Didn't pay for it, right? No, I figured. Pool lights. Guarantee you she didn't pay for this. No. This guarantee you she didn't pay for this. Hundred percent. I just know. I can tell the stuff that people steal. No. No. This is some. This is some people steal. She paid for that. No? She did. Yeah. Oh. Ten ninety seven. That's surprising. No, it's ten forty seven. So no. Told you. Yeah. Uh, shoes no clothes. No clothes. All right. The I rest. didn't add the shoes at first because I didn't have to start, but after looking through it. Yeah. No. Once officers found out the truth that they already knew, they headed back to the suspect to inform her of the crucial details that she coincidentally left out. There's a lot of stuff you didn't pay for. What? what, what please explain to me because I promise you. You didn't pay for any of the clothes. You didn't pay for any of the shoes. Change the price on I, numerous items. I didn't change the price. I told you I scanned it on... Yeah, uh, and sir, I sir. I said that, and what I did was even to, to uh, just to to see you can't scan I, the things on the yes you can no, I the did app it. won't let you I did it I okay. promise I will show you I swear on my son I did what? I'm not lying listen to me look at me this is I swear on my son's okay. life well they're, they're, I would not they're getting a the receipt to see what the total was. Once staff gathered a final total for the stolen goods, officers will now inform the suspect. But as you may expect, she won't take it very well. All right, so after the whole investigation was done, uh, it was uncovered that it was about $611 worth of items that were not paid. That's impossible. Okay, well, Paula. Paula, Paula. I, 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 I've had to be, I okay, should have been listen. able to witness it. There's no way. There is no way. That's not right. That wasn't my merchandise. We scan, we scan each item one by one that was in the cart. There's and that's no, what it totaled to. Then okay? that wasn't my cart because I'm telling you. It was the cart that you were pushing. Well, there's no way. Paula, we're beyond that now. You are under arrest. There's 
no way! I promise you! I don't want to be doing this all time. I no! I am under arrest. No! I don't believe this! No! No, please! Oh my god, no! Put your left leg in. You're gonna pick up Sarkis. Listen, there's no way! Put your leg in. Put your leg in. There's no way! Uh, no way! That is not true! I don't believe it! You guys are railroading me! We're not railroading you. The suspect was charged with petty theft and resisting an officer without violence. Sit down now! Nobody put your hands up! up! On April 14th, 2023, officers responded to calls from Walmart security regarding two shoplifters, who, upon contact, would both be extremely distraught. Stop! In the shade, both of you stop, I'm recording. Sit down right there. You're not free to go. If you take off running, we're gonna have an issue. Sit down! Stop, okay, sit I'm down. I'm things. sit down I'm or I'm gonna put you down. Can I get my, can I get my dog? This uh, is a truck! Here's what's gonna happen. I didn't do nothing! Sit down. Look, there's my purse! Sit down, sir, or we're gonna have an issue. Okay, I just- On your butt, My man. dog is gonna jump please. out the truck. Please! Where's Let's your truck? My dog. It's right wow. there, please! Is it the red truck in yes, front? Yes, yes, he's gonna run away. I, 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 here's my Sit purse! Sit down and we'll handle the dog. Here's my purse! Do you understand you're, under, you're being detained right now? Yes, I understand. Do you know why? They think you stole stuff from Walmart. I know. Okay, I didn't steal okay. nothing. Here's my That's purse. That's fine. Sit down on your booty. Please get my dog, please. I will take care of the dog. Please let me get my dog, please. Please don't. I'm staying. Sit down. Please let me get my dog, please. As the officer signals for backup and begins to handcuff the male, the female then decides it's prime time for an impromptu sprint to freedom. Don't resist, dude, because I will. I'm not resisting, man. Well, you guys I aren't got, getting I, with this. I got a broken oh. collarbone, bud. Please don't go oh. oh. twist my arm. Please don't twist my arm. I just have him in front. I got a broken collarbone. I got a broken collarbone. Ah! Stop hitting my dog, please! 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 Sir, you. Please, please don't let nothing hit my dog. Oh my You're going to have an issue with me. I didn't resist. I don't want to get my dog. I didn't get doing nothing to you. Sit down now. Nobody I just want to get my dog. I just want to get my dog. I told you to sit down I, numerous I, times. And if I just get my dog. Roll over your stomach, please. Oh, my God. Dude, you wouldn't listen. Nobody was running from you. Nobody was resisting. I was trying to tell you, man. I, know. I was nothing but nice to you people. Stand I up. I know, but can we get somebody? Uh, the one here, and then uh, one over to Walmart to verify uh, uh, suspects. And nobody charges, was resisting, please. man. Nobody. Was I just didn't get my dog. He's gonna jump out the window. Soon after talking with the suspects, the officer went to check their truck and discovered an unsecured loaded rifle in the truck bed. Yeah, I thought it was at first. It says DPMS on it. Can you stay and make sure this dog didn't hop out? After unloading and securing the rifle, let's head back to our suspects, where they now both decide to play the victim card. You got any needles on you? No, man. Stand up. I, my legs are down, dude. I can't stand up. Like, he just shocked the out of me. I'm laying on the ground and he's still just shocking the out of me. It goes five like, seconds. He can't stop it. I don't know, man. I'm not used to like, what the what, what does using have anything to do with this? Like, well, you're you're starting to act all not. I busted shit. my head open, yeah. man. My head is killing me. Like, what does drugs have anything to do with me busting my head open? And my, I'm dizzy and my well, legs are shaking. Probably has something to do with shot. why we got called to a retail theft, right? It usually all ties in together. That's why I'm asking what? the questions I'm asking. My partner's gonna search you. You're in custody okay. right now for resisting. I'm not saying you're necessarily going to jail. So they didn't have to spray you or tase you or anything like that. Check I might up. be able to, because of the dog thing, I might be able to release you because I don't really want to call animal control for your dog. Right? No, you gotta loosen it, bud. I, can you see that? I can't turn it if you keep moving. I can twist it. God damn. While the two suspects take zero accountability for their behavior, in a break from this mess, officers rush over to the truck to ensure that the pair's dog is safe and sound. What's up, pup? 
What are we doing with the dog? Animal control or? I don't know if the female's gonna go get him. No, so. Is he a friendly dog? So far, yeah. Hey, buddy! How you going, bud? Who's a good boy? Hey, bud. Come here. Come here. Go for a walk. Come here. Depending on what they get over there, I may cut her loose okay. to take care of the dog. Yeah, but do you want us to go through the vehicle if we can get in her yeah. yeah. and shit? Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come here. Back. Good boy. Once making sure the dog was indeed as safe and happy as can be, the owner and the dog would reunite once and for all. Your mama! Hi, Gordy! Hi! Your mama! Hi, Gordy! Come here! I don't want to be right here! Okay, calm down! Amy, I'm not gonna go find any stolen shit on the way over there. No, way, no, no. I'll, I'll walk with you. No, I don't okay, want to walk with you. <laughs> After a happy reunion, it was back to business, as cops then located all of the stolen merchandise in a bag that was abandoned near the scene. Well, I don't know if this, it was over there in the trash can. Oh, I am gonna say, oh, I didn't go by no trash can. But there's no... Colognes or anything like that. Oh. <laughs> the male was charged with resisting arrest, retail theft, and aggravated assault on a police officer, while the female was charged with resisting arrest. If this couple was annoying, you definitely haven't met Stephanie Bloodworth. Cops pulled over a Tesla after receiving reckless driving calls, but upon initiating contact, this stop wouldn't be so simple. Hey! Hey! But do I have a Tesla? Just took off. Turn off the vehicle! Hands out of the window! Why are you running from me? Don't get out of the- stay in the fucking vehicle right now! Just stay there for now. Why are you- <sighs> Both hands! Stay in the fucking vehicle! Fifth eleven, she's getting out. Come here! Come here! Stand in front of my fucking patrol vehicle right now! Right now! Ma'am! Sorry, what are you accusing me of? Ma'am? You need to come over here right now. Why? Because I'm telling you to. You're running from me. I did not. I'm right here. Yeah, now you are. You need to get over here right now. For what? Turn around! For what? 50 yeah. 11, she's refusing to comply. Get, hey! Uh, get out of the vehicle. You got me fucked up, bro. I own this. Actively time. resisting. Get out of the fucking. Get out of the vehicle! She's taking off! 5111, I'm in pursuit again. We're stopped again. Turn off the vehicle! Sheriff's office! Stop me over. Oh my god, dad! They're arresting me! Stop resisting! What the hell, dude? What are you doing? Don't fucking resist. Dad, they're arresting me! Stop resisting! Dad! Dad! Get on your Dad! Get on me on the floor! Dad! One detained. Okay, let go of no, your phone. No, I'm not. My dad is on the phone. Stephanie's own arrogance, coupled with two separate instances of fleeing cops, got her into this mess. On the ground, she'd make frequent cries out for her dad, which would continue long into this interaction. What happened? What? Oh, I'm basically. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm sure a no, lot hurts right now. Move. No, this is what happens when you flee and then you kick me. I didn't flee and I didn't kick you. So those lights and sirens mean nothing? We're just out Can here? Can I call my father? No. no. He owns the island. 5 to 11, you can okay. really see her. Call my father. I'm not calling your dad. Then what are you going to do? Are you? How old are you? I'm 24. Okay, 24, we don't need to call your dad. Yeah, you're right. And you're not going to take me in either. You <laughs> could have killed someone. Yes. You yeah, have. I could have killed you too, but you're alive, right? Okay. Cops understand this woman is not in a stable frame of mind. She's delirious and cops can't quite piece the reason together, but soon they'd find out. Can you and just you... talk to my dad? No, oh, I'm not you... talking to your dad. He's you're a right 20 here. You're a 24 year old right. adult. Right. You, you, need a, you need to notify him. I don't need to notify anyone. You're can an you... adult. Can you notify him? No, I'm not notifying anyone. We should just take one. I can smell it. Yeah, I know. What did I do? You ran from me. You, one, you ran. That's one. Two. You ran from what? Him. How much? 
You know what? I'm not even gonna ask you any questions. All right, you got her. I'm gonna go ahead and pat her down. Cool. No, I'm I'm like, you're 24 you. years old. I am not calling your dad. I'm here on my dad's property. You're in the middle of the road. Yeah, what did I do, bro? You, okay, for the third time, you fled. Upon close look, Stephanie is clearly intoxicated and is quite obviously not sober. Watch how her demeanor changes when the cop tells her how damaging her actions are. And then she gets out of the vehicle. I have her taser point. I'm telling her, like, just stay there. She gets out, and then she runs back in the vehicle, rolls up the window, and then takes off flying even faster. Like, yeah, because who back. are you? Uh, he's the police. I didn't know that. <laughs> I, I only told you, you ten times. He didn't sign anything. Did you anything. see this? He didn't, didn't do see, that. Did you see this? He oh, didn't. no. Oh, no, because I could hear his sirens on the radio. Okay. If I saw that, I would act. <laughs> okay. I need you to bring my dad on site. No, no, that's not going to happen. Ma'am, I need to know, are you going to do field sobriety exercises or not? Who is this when? guy? I don't know. That's my dad. Probably. Okay, well, he's got to go. No, he doesn't. Ma'am, <laughs> ma'am, the amount of lives that you just put at risk is ridiculous. Okay, I have no sympathy for you right now. You could have easily killed someone. There are little kids that live in this neighborhood. The fact that you would run from me, and walk go upon him like speed. that again. Stephanie's screams brought her father on site, but cops would first need to secure the woman. As expected, though, this would prove to be an incredibly difficult task. Dad, they have no so, reason. Can I talk to him? Nope, they're going in the car. Get in. I don't know. Get in! Get in! Dad! Dad! We got resisting with violence. You didn't tell me why you're bringing me in the car. Because you were going to jail. Why? Jesus fucking Christ. Dad! You're resisting again. Dad! Dad! <laughs> Listen to me. I'm going to stand you up and I'm going to let you talk to your dad. You tried to hit another one of these deputies I won't. and you are not talking to him. I won't. I just want to talk to him. As she continued crying out for her dad, cops cut her a deal and let the two briefly speak. But the interaction would not go as you think. Stephanie, you have to calm down. Oh, oh, oh. Why are they... Copy, 72 seconds for 5 You've been drinking and you were speeding. And, I was and now the way you've acted, you've gotten yourself in a deep hole and they're going to take you to jail. Dad, why are they upset? You don't need to ask why. You don't need to do anything no. except know that you're going to jail and we'll deal with this. <laughs> Stop. Uh, why am I going to jail? Because you were speeding, you ran stop signs. Where was I speeding? Well, that's probably well, 1429. Well, do they know? Dad, do they know where I was speeding? They were behind you. Behind me where? After speaking with her father, he seemed to ease her nerves just enough for her to finally relax and was subsequently taken into custody. Upon a preliminary breath sample, it was confirmed Stephanie had a staggering BAC of 0.251. Stephanie faces charges of felony fleeing, reckless driving, DUI, and resisting arrest with violence. It's over. No, no. It's, no, I didn't do anything wrong. I know my rights. This is Natasha Walker, a 34-year-old woman who had police called on her for causing a huge disturbance at Advent Healthcare in Port Orange, Florida. When officers arrived, they had no idea the type of person they'd encounter. Sorry to bother you guys. We got an alarm here. Is everything okay? <coughs> Sit down. <coughs> Sit down. <coughs> Sit down. <coughs> what the f Please, please, I'm, I'm the police officer. Ready? So, no! Ah! I'm not that tall. Put your butt ah! on the seat. Turn around, and face me. Put your butt on the I seat. I can't. I'm four foot ten. Sit down. Like I don't know what you want from me. Sit down on the seat. Do it now. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I'm too short. I get your black ass off of fucking me. Good stop. No, because you're choking me! We'll figure out what the hell's going on. Yeah, we didn't even get to that point. She just started freaking out. Yeah, she started freaking out. She tried to walk past him. We were trying to separate him and her. This guy and her. She tried to walk past him. He went to grab her and then she just started flipping out. Initial contact with Natasha highlighted her deranged behavior. She's obnoxiously screaming and whether being intoxicated is the reason or not, we'd soon find out once discussing the situation with her fiance. I apologize about being forceful with you, but when we're working, we gotta have you out of the way. I it's a safety thing. I'm perfectly sober, man. Okay. 
I mean, I understand y'all are doing your job, but like, get the f away from me. Like, I'm not if you're still hanging yeah, around, like, you're gonna go too. I'm that's how. To that's just how it down, is. Like, she's obviously, obviously not calming down. Right. What's going on? Okay, she's had a long time drinking problem. Okay. okay. She's been a closet drinker for a year now. I, I haven't drank since August, okay? I quit, so to help her quit. She's been drinking with her friend today, went fishing. I've been at work. Went fishing, stepped in some oysters. They, her friend dropped me off, her off at my house, and we literally came here. But before we made it here, she was like gonna throw up or something, so I pulled over by the pond, by Arby's. Mm -hmm. Eventually got her back in the car after she like took a dip in the pond. When I came here, and I was hoping she was going to chill out just enough to get some antibiotics and then get her home and go to sleep. Right. Obviously, she's not with it right now. Right. You know what I mean? She's got bipolar issues. Okay. You know? Any suicidal statements today? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, she's, she's going to be placed under arrest, okay? She's going to be taken out. We'll also put her on uh, just a side protocol. That's just a part of our, our thing that we do. But she's going to be out at the Volusia County Branch Jail. She'll have a bond. She'll be able to call you. Um, does she know your number by heart? Yeah. Okay. She'll be able to call you as soon as they're done with her. We learned she's currently intoxicated. Just basing off her eyes and erratic behavior, it makes total sense. Officers then reluctantly head outside where the woman would only escalate the encounter. Hey, you need to relax. No, I yes. Hey, breathe. Breathe. We're going to put something on you. You need to relax. We, we, you need to calm down. So I don't get I don't right. know how to do it. I can't right. see. Yep. I don't have my glasses. That is my thing. I can't see. You're going to stop kicking my partner's can car right please, now. Can, can I please sit on the ground? No. I just want to sit on the ground. I need to sit on the ground. You're not sitting on the ground. You're sitting in the seat. I, okay. It's over. Well, it's I, over. No. No. It's, no. I didn't do anything wrong. I need to call my daughter and no. let her know where no. to go. No, ma'am. Please, my daughter's 12 years old. Who was she? Who's to... she with right now? Nobody. Like she Why not... is she with somebody? Because I'm here trying to get my foot taken care of, and you guys got me shackled like I'm a fucking pedophile. We now learn that Natasha has a daughter. Talk about setting a good example. Her incoherence would continue, only it becomes increasingly obvious her screaming is all an act for her. Put your feet together now. No, Put no, I together. want to call my daughter. Put first. your feet together. I need Put to call your feet together. Right already. No, I need to call my my daughter is five years old. Can you please stop me? moving? Please. Stop. You moving. already did this one. Yeah, and you bent the other one, so stop moving. I didn't bend anything. You guys keep constricting me. Yeah, because you keep kicking stuff. No, because I asked you if I could call my daughter to let her know I'm here because she's 12 years old. As she continues to pry and annoy officers, they wouldn't budge. So she'd resort to asking for a sergeant and claims to know her rights. What a damn thing Stop for a kicking. sergeant. You've already I had a kicking. sergeant here. No, you kept please. Saying racial comments to him. No, I didn't. Put your feet in. Like no, you're, I you're want my. Seat. No, because my hands, my fingers are. Do I need to grab up. your legs again? Please, can you please Stop just cuff screaming. me in front? You're kicking can, stuff. You were not cuffing you in the front. You've already hit two of us. I didn't so hit stop. nobody. Get me your I'm sergeant your or your captain. Your, my sergeant was already here. Get, bring him to me now. I know my rights. Bring you your sergeant or your captain. Hey, Larry, you've already I had a sergeant here. No, you kept please. Saying racial comments to him. No, I did. Put your feet in. Please, I, and I would like to speak to you, but this officer is. You had a sergeant only. here. You kept saying racist stuff to him. I didn't say racist stuff to nobody. My daughter's half black. You fucking moron. Put my cuffs right. in the front of my body because I'm fat as fuck. The delusion of this woman to act like the victim in this situation while actively resisting is quite comical. Take note of her demeanor change as she attempts to further manipulate officers. He is my fiance. Okay, is he live with you? Kinda. Like. Okay. What's his number so we can call him? What's his number so we can call him? Very slowly, tell me the number. I'm just trying to call him. What's the number? I, I can't, I can't type it. Just, just, are you gonna tell us, or are we gonna roll I'm this window dry, up? But my mouth is dry as You're shit. talking to us the whole time, so just tell us the phone number. Copy twenty twenty five. Uh huh. Six. Uh huh. 
Once verifying her daughter's welfare, Natasha would not care, only showing concern for herself. This prompted officers to call DCF, which helps children find custody away from home for their safety, as it's clear she doesn't seem to care for her. Are you okay with Steven picking up Isabel? Yes or no? No. No? No. Okay, well, then there's nothing we can do about it, okay? So we, what, what are we doing with Isabel then? That she's good. So it's either this. She's staying at a friend's it's either house. This. She's, right? going, she's going to DCF, okay? Uh -huh. Or Stephen picks her up. That's that's your choices right now. Okay. Stephen said that he was going to pick Isabel up. Is that okay? I can't. I can't. Like, you can't I what? It's a yes or no. My my fingers you are don't... literally numb. So what's, what's happening? Please, is she going to DCF? Am I calling DCF purple, to come pick up your daughter? Or is she please, going with Stephen? Please. I can't. Like, You're I fighting. Can't feel my fingers. They're not like Despite numerous tries to manipulate the officers, they wouldn't fall for it and took her into custody. Natasha Walker faces charges of battery to a police officer and resisting arrest with violence. For you. It's littering a crime. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. This was a passenger of a vehicle that was stopped after reports the male driver had been in a physical altercation at a McDonald's drive through Upon approach, officers noticed a smell of alcohol emitting from the vehicle, so they'd question the driver. Hey, what's up, man? Shut the car off for me. Yeah, okay. Let me see the keys. What's going on, man? I just got jumped. All right, do me, do, me, the causeway. do me a favor, hop out for me right now, all right? Sir, I don't think you can open this. Yeah, I can. Step out of the car. What's your problem? What's your clause? Because it's for my safety. Step out of the car. Here's my safety, yes. You know Step what out of my the car. safety is? I just got jumped, man. Okay. Well, then, if you just got jumped, hold on. Do you hold have on. any weapons on you? Does it look like it? Why are you cuffing him? It's I'm like, not cuffing him. It looked like you were. No, he is. You don't let me do my dog. You're you cuffing him. Hold on, dog. What he's holding his hand from right Because you're about to go into cuffs. You know, stop talking. Stop talking. Calm, Let's stop asking him questions. He's trying to work. Because we just went through some like really serious for okay. no reason. Then let us figure it out. If you're going, ah, if you're going through serious stuff, then you would have stayed on scene. You would have called 911. You would have over the I top right because some guys just jumped him for no reason. You don't get what that's like. No guys have ever done that to you, obviously. Upon contact with the driver, it becomes apparent that he had been in a fight, evident from the marks all over his body. However, the situation took a turn when the 18-year-old passenger aggressively interrupted the conversation, disrupting the police procedures. Subsequently, both the driver and the passenger began to explain the situation. So why do we get pulled over? Why do you get pulled over? Because you guys were always involved, right? Right. Did you guys see it? Well, no, we didn't see it. You didn't at all? We call in, right? You got called in? Well, yeah, that's why we're all here. I'm not here. It's really late. Huh? Late as It was right now. I understand that. That's why there's people over there, too. So there's cops over there? Yes, there is. Okay, good. Literally. It was random as shit. We were in the driving lot, and they literally just got out, got mad, and they started fist fighting. I couldn't even control it, because they're all like the same height as him. How do you know him? I went to middle school, like high school with them. Is it one of your exes or some no. shit? No. No. You said you were in the drive-thru? Yes, I was in the drive-thru. Alright, you wanna tell me exactly what happened? These guys are calling it on the scooters, so I took, you know, matters into my hand. When we were in the car, he came up, he swung at him, and then he got out of the car to protect him well. Got out, said, what's your problem? Boom, punch in the face, push to the ground, and then just started getting And then I was trying to say it up for myself, obviously, punch him back. There's 3v1. While retelling what happened, officers noticed the driver slurring his speech and showing signs of impairment. Consequently, they performed tests to confirm his sobriety. While talking to you though, you are exhibiting some indicators that you may be impaired. You might have a little bit to drink. Well, I definitely have not. You definitely have not? No. Okay. Can I uh, perform some field sobriety exercises on you? Make sure you're safe to drive? Of course. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to follow this light with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move your head at all. Okay? Up here. Are sure you haven't had anything? Because you're under 21, so you can't even have a sip. Awesome. I'm not a drinker. Okay, then what's that natty sitting in the back seat? It's not mine. Who's this? Okay, I mean... We're at the beach. She got it. The teen denied drinking, but the cops pointed out a can of beer in the driver's seat, which he'd quickly blame on his passenger. Meanwhile, while performing additional tests, the passenger made excuses for the driver. We're checking him out. I know, but like, he got drunk, so what do you mm -hmm. expect from him? Like, walk straight after he has like a concussion? Oh, you know he's got a concussion? He might. But you know he does? I, he might. I play softball, I know what it's like, he hit in the head. But you said he does. He might. Okay. All right, well, there's a difference between does and might. Not really. There is. 
There's really one's not. a maybe, one is a positive. Know. Sometimes you don't know. Okay. Unfortunately, due to the indicators I've seen on this on your your field sobriety exercises, I do believe you've been drinking tonight, and too too much to be operating motor vehicle on the roadway. Okay, so I'm placing you on arrest at this time. So. The driver failed the tests and was subsequently arrested. That's when the passenger objected to the arrest and became combative with the officers. What did he do? No, no, don't be walking up on Excuse that, me, okay? bro. Don't fucking put your hands on me. Can I go wherever he goes? I don't have a ride, so I need to go wherever he goes. Your I phone? Have, I don't have a, no. Your phone? I don't have any ride. My parents, parents are sleeping. Unfortunately, you're going to be waiting a little while. Yeah, that's fine. So, I'll wait. I don't care. But unfortunately, we're not a taxi service. We're not going to offer a ride down there, right? I've so, been with y'all. Well, I don't know who you were with, but it's not going to end this time. So, there? nope, he's going to the jail. That's where he's going. Where is it okay. at? What area? Where's it? Where's it at? Clearwater. I live right in the area. I don't get why I can't just get a ride from. Because we're not a taxi service. I never said y'all fucking were. Right. So what I'm saying we can do is we can get a phone number. We can try and get you a I ride. Can't get any ride. Why? The parents are sleeping. They work at 5 a.m. What am I supposed to do with his car? What are you going to do with his car? It's me that you were no, I didn't admit. I said I if I was. All right, well, e even if not, I can smell it on your breath, and I'm pretty sure you told me all you had was an ID, oh, so. Do you want to smell my breath? I can smell when we're over here talking. I need to get my shoes and my phone, so. All right, hang out back here real quick. Hang out back here real quick. Hang out back here real quick. Are you? Y'all are fucking crazy. Do not pull away from me. I'm not pulling away. You you bro, right I here. like that. You you're fine. Right you're, I like that. You're good. The passenger remained adamant on going wherever he goes, despite being informed that it wouldn't be possible. However, she was determined to go with him at any cost, even if that meant getting arrested. That's you want to go get your property out of the car now? You're old as fuck. Shut the fuck up. What, what, is, what, it? what is your question? Is it Clearwater what? Complete a sentence. We might answer Clearwater the question. Clearwater what? I don't know what you're talking you're about. You're going to be with me all fucking night. Probably not. Like, you actually have to go to his parents? Yeah, I have to okay. tell them. What, am I, what else am I going to do? I don't want to ride home. So. Do you have your phone? Yeah, but I, my parents are sleeping. So I'm you can call your parents? Feet. No. Where are you going? Um, hey, right here. My fucking shoes. Don't grab me. Yeah. Dude, stand you feel on. good? Go stand over you there. You feel good grabbing? Go stand over there. You feel good grabbing? Go stand over you there. You feel good grabbing? I need my fucking shoes. Okay, well, you can stand over there. Hey, she, she can go if she does that again. That's the second warning. I can go where? I love seeing how you guys are so shitty at your job because I do a dance move and because I want to get my fucking shoes. Yeah, you're being filmed right now. I don't have a video. I don't really give a fuck, but like you guys are going to be mad because I'm dancing. No. You are. No. You just said if I'm done, I can go home. That's literally what he just fucking said. That's, That's not at all what he said. You're intoxicated. While she was clearly trying to provoke the officers, possibly in an attempt to get them to take her to jail along with the driver, she continued to insult them, further escalating the situation. I'm just playing with y'all. The are fucking hilarious. You're hilarious as fuck. I don't even get a DUI. Even if I drink, and it's so sad that you call a guy who didn't even drink, but you guys smoke good, don't absolutely you? Absolutely does it does make sense. Cause what if I drink? You don't even fucking. Here's eat. your ID. Grab your stuff and leave. I didn't drive. Oh. See you. Um, we leave. Have a good day. Have a good day. I'm gonna be your top king racist. Okay. My phone. Leave. I, my phone is in. Leave. How am I gonna? You already walked away. Leave. Can I find my phone? Yeah, find your phone. <laughs> Do it now. You got the flash. Okay, fine. I don't see a phone in there. Well, it seemed like she was finally walking away, she abruptly turned back, claiming she had lost her phone. However, the decision she then made pushed all the officers to their breaking point. I actually oh. thought about being a cop, but after meeting y'all, like, where the fuck are the women? It's probably a good thing you changed your where mind. Where are the women? Y'all oh, suck. So many beer cans in my thing. Can I, like, dump them out? Do you guys care? How? She's 18, so she can't have those beers. Take them out. They're empty. Uh, thank you, Daddy. You can keep those because they're empty. Good for you. It's littering a crime. Okay, I'm sorry. No, sorry, sir. I'm sorry. I'll pick them up. I'll pick them up. Too late. No, I'll pick them up. You wanted to go to jail. Stop talking yourself into you. things. Tried to get you to leave about 25 times, but you're smarter than us I and know better. I wanted to leave. You can take your 4.5 GPA and hang out at booking. Tell them all about it. They'll love to hear. Welcome to the real world. No, I get the real world. Yeah, there's consequences for your actions. You want to pick a child and treat you like that. So. But like, my, I can easily pick them up. They're not mine. Okay, what well, you threw them at? them in my bag. Go. Yep, you threw them at me and hit me. I didn't even throw them at you. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? You've got some options. Either stop banging. No, I we didn't put throw them at you. We put, you. We put lake I shackles on you. His house. No, you're not going to his house. You're going to jail. I'm not because Tuck you... your feet in. In a clear attempt to provoke officers, she was finally placed into custody and was charged with disorderly intoxication. Stop, stop opening my vehicle. Hey, stop. 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 St
Step out of the car. Stop, stop on the car. Step out of the car. Really record. Step out of the car. Get your hands off of me. Step out of the car. Get your hands off of me. On March 20th, 2022, an officer noted a white SUV traveling 75 miles per hour in a 55 mile per hour zone. Only expecting a simple traffic stop, he certainly didn't expect the hurricane of events about to unfold. Hey. Hey. I don't have to hang up the phone. Hey, hey, me, listen, you're being stopped for your speed. Give me your driver's license and registration. You're going 75 in a 55. Give me your license and registration. Stop opening my vehicle. Stop. 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 Give me your driver's license and registration. Hold on, officer, please. I'm going to give you one more chance. Cody, they're too far. Give me a channel. I don't have one more chance. I don't have my license on me, officer. All right. Step out of the car. Stop on Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Get your hands off of me. Step out of the car. Get your hands off of me. Get out of the car. Get your hands off of me. No, what the what the f are you doing, bro? Get in the car. You don't have the right to stay. You don't have the right to do this, bro. You don't have the right to do this, bro. Stop. You don't have the right to do this, bro. Stop. 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 Upon initiating contact, the driver was combative from the off flat out ignoring the officer's commands to produce his identification. His defiance will only lead to him incurring way more charges, but despite this, the teen will continue to defy orders and even boldly claim that the cops aren't allowed to do this. Haley! No, get in the car! Grab the phone! Relax! Don't put no Relax. bro! Stand up! Tripping, bro! Stand up! What are you doing? Get off me! What are you doing? You guys cannot do this! Yes, yes we can! No, you cannot! Hey, stop! Oh. Bro, it's a speeding... Okay. I'm sorry for... Bro, bro, it's not even that. Lena gets the car! Stop! We're trying to talk to you! Okay, you, you can talk to me in my relax. vehicle. Relax! No, relax! This teen clearly thinks that laws don't apply to him. What else did he think would happen when you commit a crime and ignore the police? Alas, the passenger will call his uncle in some strange attempt at an alibi. However, he'll soon learn that that's not how the law works. Get off me, bro. You guys are cuffing me too tight, bro. Well, did you see what you did? You were, you pulled me on my car for no given reason, bro. I said, hold on. Oh, no, hang up the phone. It's his uncle. I don't care. Bro, what you're you doing... Hey, you record this shit. I'm in the middle of something. No, you're in the middle of my hey, fucking bullshit, bro. Right, can you get her to secure her right now? Stop. Come How here. old are you? Don't worry about it. I need to worry about it. How old are you? Don't worry about it. Haley! Don't worry Lift about it. Lift your leg up one more time. Stop. Watch your groin. Yeah, I got it. How old are you? I'm not going to hurt you. How old are you? Don't worry We don't want to hurt you either. Don't worry about it. We're gonna relax if you relax, you understand? Okay, I'm relaxed. Okay. Talk to me. I can't. 1835, I got a couple 49 units. What are we doing here? May I send around? No, those are staying on until we figure this out. I'm telling you, officer. Yes. All right. You're extremely fucking sit tight. Th sit tight for one second. Where is your driver's here. license? You Just have one? No, run off or something. You're good, I bro. do. Where's your license? It's not on me. Okay. How old are you? Why can't I talk to my uncle? Because he's not here, and we stop that. the car that you're driving. That's not that. how it works. We're okay, talking to you. Listen, right. 35, 65, 65, 65, 65. if you talk to us, because we have to do our job, if we need to get your uncle, we will call your uncle. Okay, but right now, Charlie, you're with us. You're not. It has nothing to do with them. Okay? Yes. But what I is your first name? I'm not giving my name. So if you go to jail and you get booked in as a John Doe, You'll get, you won't get out until they ID you. Even in custody, the teen continues to deny stating his name, which I'm not sure what he's attempting with that one, except for an obstruction charge. But that said, a senior officer will try and school this teen to help him actually understand the law, but he'd still play the victim. Listen, 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 Intent is never to take you to jail, buddy. Okay, we pulled you over for speeding. You didn't stop, and then you tried to drive away a little bit, okay? No, I wasn't Listen, trying to drive. I was trying to pull off the road, so we're in the middle of the road. Okay, hear me out, hear me out. Okay, 
I understand there's a lot of issues going on back and forth with law enforcement right now, and a lot of people think that we're acting out and we're doing stuff we're not supposed to do. Okay? You can't roll the window up on us like that. You can't roll the window up, oh, and you have to listen. Halfway down. You have to listen to us when we're on a traffic stop. Okay, when we conduct a traffic stop, you are lawfully detained. You get with him for a second. Yeah. With this teen now a little more educated on the law and its consequences, the responding officer now gives a private call to the uncle, who was ultimately left in the dark the entire time and likely quite concerned. As such, the officer would give him a call to inform him of exactly what went down. Hello. Hello there, is this Yes it is. Hey, this is Deputy Quinn Flat County Sheriff's Office. I apologize for the delay. That's quite alright. Um, so what where can where can I start for you? What 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 do you got? What kind of questions? Well, I know. I, I guess I guess he was speeding. I don't understand how it went from getting a speeding ticket and it escalated into him being taken in custody. So when I approached the vehicle, um I went up the driver's side of it and I walked up to the driver window where obviously he was sitting and I knocked on the window because he originally wouldn't open the window and I had to knock multiple times and he was sitting on the phone talking to someone and once I got him to finally roll the window down you know I told him hey I'm you know stopping you for your speed you know I need your driver's license registration insurance and at that point he multiple times stuck his hand out and his finger and told me to hold on and he was going to continue talking to someone on the phone and I told him and gave him multiple commands at that point you know to hang up the phone and speak to me and give me his uh information and he con continued to just refuse to even even acknowledge me at that point he uh he kept talking on the phone and i said and i told him i said look man i need your stuff and then at that point i opened the door and i told him hey i'm gonna give you one more chance before you know we go further i need your license registration insurance or at least your name and then he goes i don't have my license reach his hand over to the gear shifter and at that point the vehicle was still on and he reached for the gear shifter i went and grabbed him and said all right that, that, that's it you're not you're not doing this and then that's when i went to just take him into custody and he started to fight us obviously and all that um i, I greatly apologize for that that's not the way you raised no and that. like you know i've always told him look please tells you to stand on your head you say where <laughs> With a pleasant mutual conclusion between the officer and the uncle, the charges for this teen weren't as pleasant. He is charged with resisting an officer without violence and DUI as officers discovered he was also under the influence. But it's not always teens thinking they're above the law. This time, it's a guy bullying cops to get out of a DUI. This unknown man was involved in a crash, but when officers arrived, they noticed the smell of alcohol on the man's breath. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, man, we're, we're, we're just coming into the stop, and I, I, I just escaped. But... Was she stopped, or...? No, no, she was good. Man. She was she traveling? Know. Yeah, no, she was doing nothing. No, I'm saying, was she traveling, or were you st was she stopped? No, she was stopped. She was life, stopped? Man. Can I get your license, registration, insurance, please? Yeah, yeah, she was fine. She was fine. How are you? Can you tell me what happened? Uh, yeah, just sitting at the red light. And I just got slammed into the back. Have a good one. Can I get your license, registration, and insurance, please? Can I get your registration, and insurance, also, please? Yeah. Okay. I'll be with you in a minute, okay? What do you need? Insurance card. Yeah. And registration. Okay. This is the third time I'm telling you, sir. No, I know that. Okay, then, then why do you keep asking well, the question? Because I keep asking. It's not really my fault. Like Are you trying to change lanes or? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I hit oh, okay. her. I hit her. Oh, I was just asking. Yeah, I hit her. After the officer confirmed the woman he hit was okay, they'd ask the man for his registration three separate times. At which point, officers suspected this wasn't just a simple accident. We're now transitioning from a traffic crash to a DUI investigation. Driving on the influence, okay? Really? Yeah, I gotta really? read this to you. Really? Yeah. I gotta read really? your rights to you. The man, seemingly stunned that there are consequences for his actions, would be read his rights, but would then tell cops to read them 400 more times. Any statement can and will be used against you for the law. Wanna read him again? Yeah, read him 400 times. I'm not reading 400 times. No, just read him. What did you not understand? Yeah, read him. All right, I wanna do a couple roadsides to make sure you're okay to drive. Are you willing to perform the task to make sure you're okay to drive? probably better than you man knowing he's impaired and won't escape his fate he'd now begin to bully the cops 
Okay, so you want to perform the task that I'm asking you to do? Are you willing to do Who are you? Are you who are you? Come right over here. No, no, no. I want to okay. know who you are. My name is William Buttsbach. I work for the Palm Beach Gardens Police Department. That's Jason Jung. You are yeah, the you, you are the same guys that shoot people, man. Coming off. Okay, the are you going to perform the task that I'm requesting? No, of I'm you? asking you. Okay, if you refuse to perform the task that I'm requesting of you, I'm going to have to use everything up to this point. This is your Taylor warning now. So, are you refusing to perform the road signs that I'm asking? You started all this shit. You started all the crap. No, no, I didn't start this. I was very kind to that girl. Okay, and we're you know, past I that didn't point. Start all this shit. So, if you refuse to do what I'm asking, yeah, no, I didn't start all this shit. You if fucking was, if you refuse to do what I'm sir, asking you, bastards. then I'm going to have to make an arrest based on the totality of circumstances up to this point. Are you willing to perform the roadside? Yeah, what do you want to do? Okay, come stand right over here. Yeah. Okay. Stand right there with the feet together, heels touching, toe touching. As we've seen many times on this channel, the man takes no accountability for the crash and instead blames the cops for it. They'll ask him which medications he takes, to which it becomes abundantly clear how intoxicated he is. How much you had to drink today? I haven't had nothing to drink today. Okay, what medication do you take? I take a lot of medication. What's a lot of medication? Are what you, you a doctor? If you're refusing to do what I'm asking you, and you're going to do no, this, okay, I'm just okay. Take you to jail. Here, I take, I take, I take. Ah, uh, you motherfuckers! Really, it's a problem. I don't know what the problem is. The problem's you. Okay. After claiming the officers are at fault, they'll run through some of the funniest DUI tests you may ever see. I want you to see the tip of this pen right here. Yeah, I see. I want you to follow with your eyes and your eyes only. You gotta follow it. Yeah, I see it. I see it. What's the, look at what's me. the issue? The pen. Stop looking at me. Follow the pen. I see it. I'm not asking you to see it. I'm telling you to follow it. There. Follow the tip of my pen. Yeah, I see it. I ain't driving so that easy, far back. I'll walk easy back to where I'm going. with me. Yeah, no, I understand. Our way, I understand, right? sir. What certifications do you have to do this? I have a ride. Oh, do you? Yeah, I do. Do you? We'll really? Yeah. Yeah. I've got over 160 hours of training. Oh, really? really? Out here. Yeah. Really, I'm a registered nurse. Okay. I think you're full you of shit. No, I see. You have to follow it all the way. Oh, fuck, really? Don't ever come into a hospital where I'm at, baby. I hope you're not my nurse. I'll fuck you up bad. Okay. Okay? Just so we're clear. Okay. I'll fuck you up follow bad. I see it! Don't move your head. Your head has to stay straight. Ah, oh, come on, do it. I'm so glad he clarified that his eyes were in fact working and that he can see the pen. Clearly failing the test, he'd now argue with the police and resist being arrested. You guys want to take your guns out? Stop me. moving. Don't tell me what to do and what not to do. At this time you're under arrest. Okay. Stop what? resisting. Stop fucking resisting. Stop resisting! Don't fucking pick me! Stop don't fucking give me. me! Stop fucking resisting! I'm good. I'm good. Like I said, don't ever let me fucking see you in a hospital. I'll fucking kill you. The man was charged with DUI and resisting arrest without violence. But Karens who think they're above the law don't end here, as is the case with this woman. On December 13th, 2021, police responded to a woman trespassing for the second time. And from there, the situation would quickly turn into absolute chaos. Hello, you got your ID on you? What? Is it in that first by chance? It's it is not. Sure, first name. What's your first name? Okay, you're talking just fine. Let's talk normal. What's your first name? No, you're going to tell us your first name. We can do this easy way, hard way. It's up to you. We're trying to make sure you're safe and find out who you are real quick, okay? If you don't have any warrants or anything like that, then we're good. But I need to get your first name and all that information, okay? I'm just, I just want to go and I do see it. I got your just in doing that. Understandable, but this ain't a bedroom. Oh, okay, I'm going to go to my bedroom. Where's your bedroom? I'm not, I'm not just going to go to my bedroom. If you don't give me your information, that is what we call resisting. Yes, sir. So, what is your first name, young lady? Open up your purse and give me your ID. From where? My girlfriend's house. Okay, then get my officer your first name. No, thank you. Huh? No, give him it now. 
or we're going to go in cuffs and we're going to walk downstairs and I'll find out who you are later. Well, tensions began to rise as the suspect refused to identify herself. Lounge personnel would show officers that she is a repeat offender and has been trespassed several times before. You said she's been trespassed before by officers or anything? Uh, you got the case number? Yes, sir. I was just contacting my supervisor. And it looks like her too. I had the skateboarding on and I fell asleep. I apologize. Okay. Now they're watching racing. Can you please listen to me like that? I'm not, I'm not trying to intimidate you or anything, but... Despite claiming to have only been, quote, watching something, if that's true, she must have those new transparent eyelids or something. But now she'd state she needs to use the restroom and would try to leave. But this would quickly prove to be a terrible decision. I got his last show. Not yet. I really don't touch me. No, no, no. Okay, well, I'm telling you. No, 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 stop. Please don't touch me. Go, go sit back over there. Please don't touch me. Go sit back over there. Please don't touch me. Go sit back over there. Please don't touch me. Go sit back over there. Please don't touch me. Go sit back over there. You're not free to go. You're not free to touch me. Yes, I am. Am I being detained? Yes, you are detained. You are detained. For what? For an investigation. Go sit down. What type of investigation? I'm not going to ask you again. Sit down. Let go of me. Sit down. Let go of me. Sit down. Seriously, let go of me. Sit down. Seriously? If you don't sit down, we'll put you in cuffs. Seriously? Let go of me. Turn around. Turn around. Stop. 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 Yeah. Stop resisting. What did I do? We'll do. Just right. ask you to use the restroom? There you go. Would you stop? Oh! Seriously? Can I just real quick? I just want to kill me. Can I please kill you just kick me? Can I please? Sir, will you walk me the rest of You're under arrest. That's definitely not happening. Ah! You're hurting me so bad. Well, stop kicking and stop squirming. Due to her not showing any signs of compliance, officers would now call in for a hobble restraint device so they can actually gain control of the situation. Stop kicking! <laughs> Get your hands off my ass. Please get your hands off of my ass. Oh, can I well, you're under arrest for trespassing. You're under arrest for battery on LEO now. We're going to um, just have you write a statement to about the previous incident. <laughs> Stop. Can you get off of me? No. While she seemed to have stopped being as violent, this would quickly change as she then attempt to bite the officer. Holy shit, bro. Please stop. You're scaring me. No, 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 no. Stop. Finally, the Hubble device arrived, so officers quickly ran over to put it on her. Please stop. <laughs> All I said was I didn't listen to that. I want to do the restroom. It's literally it. Can I use the restroom? What am I arrest for? Is what I'm asking. For what? For where? Once the suspect was fully restrained, officers would carry her out of the business. All the while, she was screaming and crying the entire way out. You're in my ankles. Can I please walk? Can you treat me differently? Can you walk like me? Yeah, I can walk if he doesn't put okay, me in my... Okay, no. Stop you're spitting, you're not gonna get a chance. You understand? Don't spit on him. Stop. Yeah, someone needs the woman was charged with trespassing an occupied structure, resisting an officer with violence, and battery on a police officer. 